Cabo Bob's, Southwestern Style Burritos. Now with two locations in Austin, 500 East Ben White Boulevard and 2828 Rio Grande Boulevard. Find them online, CaboBob's.com. And support comes from Sovereign Living, a podcast, blog, and reality show about what it takes to live a voluntary and natural life. Check out the blog at SovereignLiving.com and watch episode one of the soon-to-be-released reality show at SovereignLiving.tv. This is The Liberty Beat for Friday, September 12, 2014. Check out the website at TheLibertyBeat.com and like us on Facebook at Facebook.com, The Liberty Beat. Senator Ted Cruz has met with opposition in his defense of Israel. ABC News reports it happened this week during a dinner Cruz attended held by the In Defense of Christians organization. Cruz ultimately walked out, telling the crowd that booed him that, quote, if you will not stand with Israel, if you will not stand with the Jews, then I will not stand with you. The vocal opposition apparently began when Cruz told the crowd, today Christians have no greater friend than the Jewish state. The Medina Farm in Wharton, Texas will be hosting a hands-on workshop about food. The Farm Food Family Weekend will include three food-centric events. Friday, November 14th, will feature a farm-to-table dinner with an exclusive local menu created and prepared by Chef Nancy Foster. The next event is an organic cooking class titled How to Stretch a Chicken Five Ways. The event is Saturday, November 15th, also led by Chef Nancy. And the third and final event for the weekend is the Fundamentals of Farming Seminar that will take place Saturday, November 15th. Seating is limited for all three events. Tickets are expected to sell out, so get them early. Visit the MedinaFarm.com for more information and ticket pricing info. Dr. Paul Conant, toxicologist and founder of the Fluoride Action Network, was in San Marcos yesterday for a lunch meeting with city council members and city staff and for a happy hour with community activists. Present at the meeting was Mayor Daniel Guerrero, Councilwoman Lisa Pruitt, and Councilman Wayne Beekack. John Bush, founder of the Liberty Beat and San Marcos resident, was also in attendance. He said the council members seemed genuinely interested and asked some great questions. The visit came as momentum for a city petition drive to put the question of fluoridation to a vote is gaining steam. Join us next week for an in-depth report on the council members' feedback and Dr. Conant's wisdom and advice during the meeting. Today's edition of the Liberty Beat is brought to you by Brave New Books, your source for all things Bitcoin, now hosting a Bitcoin ATM, located in Austin, Texas, 1904 Guadalupe Street, or online, bravenewbookstore.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, September 12, 2014. I'm Brian Hagen reporting. And if you thought things couldn't get more infantile and aesthetically insulting than Fergie, Kesha, or Katy Perry, then you obviously haven't met 22-year-old Karanika, the latest and most horrid talent-bereft pop monstrosity the music industry has ever sadistically forced down the American public's collective throat. She's here with us in the studio right now. What, what? Now tell us, Karanika, how did you first decide that you wanted to be the cipher through which the cynicism of a morally bankrupt industry is channeled? Yo, I just do what I do, know what I'm saying? It's like, people just love my ish. Mm. Right, you are in the middle of your sold out Damn Girl tour. Damn Girl, that's right! <laughs> Which is a heinous slap in the face to the English language, and will also travel to 47 what? cities, sapping the intellects of every young person along I the way. I said Damn Girl, that's right! Uh. There's no light in your eyes, Karanika. I got nothing to say to the haters. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> this is the Onion News Network. It's Free Talk Live. We're here to take your calls about what you want. You just dial right on in toll-free here at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online. Just drop by freetalklive.com and enjoy the features that we share with you. Uh, they're all free. You can actually go there and create the content. What you see there on the front page was put there by listeners just like you and then voted upon by listeners like you. So go and get interactive at freetalklive.com. With you in the studio, it's Ian. Ellen. And Daryl. All right. We, of course, will get into your calls about whatever you want to discuss. And the three of us all had one particular story that uh, we all found interesting. It was all in together in our show prep and we always come to the studio not knowing what each other wants to talk about. And it turns out we all had this one. Yahoo! Turns out they have been fighting against the United States government over crazy fines. $250,000 a day is... Per what? day. Per day. For per refusing day. to share information. 
So the government had threatened to fine them $250,000 a day all the way back in 2008 if Yahoo failed to comply with a broad demand to hand over user communications. I presume that means on their Yahoo Instant Messaging service, a request, or maybe their mail service as well, a request the company believed was unconstitutional, according to court documents unsealed on Thursday that illuminate how federal officials forced American tech companies to participate in the National Security Agency's controversial PRISM program. The documents, roughly 1,500 pages worth, outline a secret and ultimately unsuccessful legal battle by Yahoo to resist the government's demands. The company's loss required Yahoo to become one of the first to begin providing information to PRISM, a program that gave the NSA extensive access to records of online communications by users of Yahoo and the U.S. based te- and other U.S. based technology firms. So it didn't work out. <laughs> they they tried to fight the power, but uh, ultimately the government, they're going to do what they're going to do. Well, I was listening to a, a radio show this morning when I, when I heard the news about this, and I, I kind of laughed to myself because uh, it, se- it seemed almost fruitless for Yahoo to, or I believe I'm saying it wrong, it's Yahoo! <laughs> but but if, if Yahoo is challenging the government and they're in a federal court it just seems like the odds are automatically stacked against them and no matter what sure. argument they choose you know it's the government they're going to make up some law or some loophole that they can That's benefit true. well from. and th- there are some people that say that you should not ever go to a court because courts are inherently you know lopsided against you because they're funded by the entity that you're suing assuming that you're suing the government so you know what about a year and a half ago me and a few others filed a lawsuit against the Keene school district yeah that's right because of some weird trickery at the deliberative session which is sort of like a town meeting style new england sort of thing and of course you know we wound up going to the government court and the government court decided no, no, no. Changing the verb does not modify the uh, context of this petitioned article. Therefore, case dismissed. Same thing with Yahoo. You know, they're going to a government court to say, we think sure. the government's doing something wrong. Well, it's- And government courts historically side with the government on being able to expand powers. Right, but it's, it's a little more complex than that. Like, uh, when... The government is setting up an argument saying, well, we need to collect this data because it will protect all of these people. It will provide us with security for these reasons. Why should we not collect this data? Why do you not want us to have it? Are you hiding something? Do you just want to be, you know, that stick in the mug that's not complying? You well, know, there's there's a lot more reasons for it than against it, at least in the eyes of attorneys and and judges and people who work for the government. I am glad that they did try to stand up, though, right? Like, they could have yeah. just bent over and said, yeah, we'll do whatever you tell us. And that's another thing, is that a lot of people demonize uh, these messaging sites for giving in to this pressure. But really, they have no option. Either they, they give in and share this information that they've collected, mm-hmm. and, or they pay these huge fines and eventually go out of business. Or they just decide to shut down instead of sending the information to the government. Which is what uh, LeVar Levinson, I think, is what uh, his name Kim. was. Kim.com is... He did that, too. Uh, but LeVar, Ladar maybe was his name, Levinson, he showed up at the Liberty Forum this year and actually just as an attendee, he was the guy who was running Lava Bit. And uh, that was an e- like a private email service. Yeah, he, he was running that with Kim.com. Oh, I didn't know Kim.com was involved in that. Yes. Um, so, yeah, they shut down their private email service rather than give access, a backdoor access to the U.S. government, which was really heroic. I mean, to be able to just throw away years worth of building a business on essentially on principle. Yeah, you know, that you had. He said he had. I think he said he had four hundred thousand customers worldwide, or something like that. A fairly large amount of people were affected by that, and uh, he just shut it down. 
So uh, let's see, continuing the story here, the ruling by the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court of Review became a key moment in the development of PRISM, helping government officials to convince other Silicon Valley companies that unprecedented data demands had been tested in the courts and found constitutionally sound. Eventually, most major U.S. tech companies, including Google, Facebook, Apple, and AOL, complied. Microsoft had joined earlier before the ruling. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so they're, they they were just like, oh, this seems like... A- could sure work thing, out. guys. Yeah. What can we do to help? Or it, it could have been one of those things of where they wanted to not comply. We're going to fine you $250,000 a day. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. We'll yeah, go ahead and do be. it. A version of the court ruling had been released in 2009, but was so heavily redacted that observers were unable to discern which company was involved, what the stakes were, and how the court had wrestled with many of the issues involved. Quote, We already knew this was a very, very important decision by the FISA Court of Review, but we could only guess at why, said a law professor at American University. PRISM was first revealed by Edward Snowden, the former NSA contractor, last year, prompting intense backlash and a wrenching national debate over allegations of overreach in government surveillance. Documents made it clear the program allowed the NSA to order U.S.-based tech companies to turn over emails and other communications to or from foreign targets without search warrants for each of those targets. Other NSA programs gave even more wide-ranging access to personal information of people worldwide by collecting data directly from fiber optic connections. The real message that I think Edward Snowden has brought out, and this just reinforces, is that you can't trust companies to keep your data safe. Right. And it's not their fault, though. I mean, they're under so much political pressure to give it up. It's true. And what can they do? Well, not just political, but also financial. Right. I know if I were running, you know, a billion dollar business and somebody threatened me with almost two million dollars per week worth of fines, then it would not take me very long to decide, you know what, I'm just going to, you know, like be done with this and I would shut the business down. If if I were in Yahoo's shoes, I would have shut the business down. Well, they probably could have gotten away with shutting down their messenger service or something like that or whatever. Messenger it was service, were, groups, email. email. Right. But for if if but Yahoo can't. if every business that provides a messaging service were to shut down under this pressure, then we would really have few to no choices. I mean, I'm oh, sure there I don't know about that. There, there could would, still be some companies that would be, let's say, internationally based. Right. There uh, would be some could, ones that splinter off, I would think. But well, and for all the, the the great thing about having something like Yahoo or Facebook is that everybody uses it. Well, for true. for all of the bad things that Google has done, one thing that they do that I praise them on is any email that is sent that stays within the Gmail network is encrypted the entire way through. Mm. Yeah, but you still can't trust them. I mean, because... I'm not saying I trust them. Just because Google says, we've got encrypted email now, doesn't mean that the FBI or or NSA or whatever doesn't have a tap right in the line before the encryption starts that they can just jack all your emails. Well, there, there are some people that make the claim that, you know, there's some little thing within the computer that as soon as you hit a keystroke, it goes straight to the NSA database before you ever hit send. So, you know, like some people are going to say, you know, like nothing you do anywhere ever is safe. Yeah, that's, that's, and, well, and also you get uh, news like about TrueCrypt, which was an encryption protocol that the authors abandoned. And it was this really weird story. And I don't know if anybody's ever done any further checking on that. We'll find out more coming up here in moments. Free Talk Live. Attention. Renew is currently seeking participants who are dealing with stress and unhappiness. If you are experiencing one or more of the following symptoms, you are eligible to participate in the trial and receive a free two-week supply of the mood-boosting supplement, Renew. To be eligible, your symptoms may include fatigue, hopelessness, tension, negative mood, anxiety, or lack of sleep. Renew is an all-natural, doctor-recommended supplement that will help boost your mood and give you more energy right away. Renew has been featured on Oprah and The View and has already helped over a million people feel better naturally. 
Now you are eligible to participate in the free trial if you or someone you know are experiencing symptoms of stress and unhappiness. Call now to participate in the trial and receive a free two-week supply of Renew. To participate in the Renew trial and get a free supply, call 1-800-553-7444. 1-800-553-7444. Call 1-800-553-7444. 1-800-553-7444. Gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30% while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should, too. Find out what they know. Call us and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well, free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Are you looking for an excuse to come check out New Hampshire this fall? You're invited to Keenvention. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keene, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit Keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, Rich Paul is our first announced keynote speaker, and more are being announced now at Keenvention.info. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keen for Keenvention this October 31st through November 2nd. You can pre-order your tickets now for just $60 at Keenvention.info, or you can pay with Bitcoin. Visit Keenvention.info for more information and to lock in your tickets at the pre-order $60 price for the whole weekend. Visit Keenvention.info for more. Or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's keenvention.info. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. 35% of U.S. credit accounts are facing collection agencies. Of that 35, almost 40% are the result of medical bills. Before uninsured friends or family go in for medical treatment, send them to asiarunlikehellguide.com. No computer tracing, no tracking cookies. They will not go on a list. Privacy matters. Just tell us what you need. Get a quote. Fractions of U.S. prices. asiarunlikehellguide.com. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm. What a surprise. The government courts have ruled that the government should be able to take all kinds of information from whatever gov- uh, whatever private companies that are online doing services for you, like Yahoo, Google, Microsoft. Of course, Microsoft apparently was more than happy to jump through the hoops in advance. Uh, but the court ruled that, yeah, we can just take whatever we want from you, essentially. I mean, I'm going to give you more details on this here in a moment. But uh, there's been big news that hit recently about Yahoo being threatened with $250,000 a day fines if they failed to comply with a broad demand to just hand over user communications. Just give it over. We want to look at all of it. And maybe it wasn't. Maybe they weren't asking for all of it. Maybe it was a... Not so broad demand, but a semi broad. I don't know. I don't know what the hell they were asking for. They can ask for anything they want to, and they'll get it these days. That's what this court has ruled. Uh, and if you don't comply as a corporation, they will fine you and then put you out of business. It's ultimately. not even these days. This happened like what? This is 2008. Six, six or true. seven years ago? Good point. Yeah, it has been six years <laughs> since 2008. 
So we're going to continue with that discussion here in a moment. And uh, the toll-free number here, 855-450-FREE. Also, we're on Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. So feel free to reach out to us in that way uh, if you would like to get in touch with the show. Also, uh, My Magic Mud, you can go and get some at mymagicmud.com. Get this amazing tooth whitening powder. It strengthens your teeth, promotes healthy gums, reverses sensitivity, and soothes any pain with which you may be dealing. Uh, My Magic Mud was created by Jessica Armand. She's a liberty-loving homeschool mother of three, and it's a holistic remedy for your teeth that removes plaque and detoxifies the mouth of bacteria that causes cavities. It gives you a dentist clean every time you use it and is gentle on the enamel. Plus, the ingredients in My Magic Mud are also used as dietary supplements, so not only is it an effective whitener, but it's actually safe to swallow it as well. You can purchase your jar today at MyMagicMud.com, and also while you're there, listen to an interview with biological dentist Dr. Dr. Griffin Cole, where he explains some of the benefits of My Magic Mud. That's MyMagicMud.com. I've got a jar in the LRN.FM studio bathroom right now, and I've been enjoying it. Do you swallow it, or do you spit it? I spit it out. Okay. Do you swallow it? No, I, I'm curious what it tastes like. Oh, sorry about that, Ellen. You had some audio going on earlier. I had to mute your mic. Oh, that's okay. Uh, the mute button wasn't working for some reason. I was just asking, um, do, well... I guess I'm saying you can swallow it because I know that it's made out of charcoal and usually you can take that as a dietary supplement as well. So I think the idea is that in case you do swallow it, you don't have to call the poison control center. Okay. Not that they're necessarily encouraging people to, I don't know if you want to swallow it. I don't know. Next next time I use it, I'll I'll use it tonight (laughs) and I'll just go ahead and swallow it and then I'll let you know what it tastes like next week. It will detoxify you. Will it turn your bowel movements black? I'll let you know next week. (laughs) MyMagicMud.com. You can do your own experimenting uh, on your own time with that. So Yahoo, the story, by the way, is coming from WashingtonPost.com. Threatened with uh, $250,000 a day fines all the way back in 2008. They took it to court and subsequently lost in the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court of Review. Now, the FISA court, as uh, they have been called in the past, I call it FISA. Is not uh, is not a particularly f- freedom friendly court. So no, uh, you know I don't know why anybody if anybody really expected them to prevail in this situation, but at least they gave it a shot. I'll give them credit for that. So Yahoo endured heavy criticism after the Washington Post and Britain's Guardian newspaper used Snowden's documents to reveal the existence of Prism last year, which is a NSA spying program was legally bound from revealing its efforts in attempting to resist government pressure. The New York Times first reported Yahoo's role in the case in June of 2013, a week after the initial PRISM revelations. Both the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court and Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court of Review, an appellate court, offered ordered declassification of the case last year amid a broad effort to make public the legal reasoning behind NSA programs that had stirred national and international anger. So we have heard about these stories before where the feds will come in, they'll talk to an individual or a company, and they'll say, look, we need you to do X for us, and you can't tell anybody about it. You can't tell anybody we've even come to talk to you. Yeah, that's and, part of the uh, warrant procedures under the USA Patriot Act. That's part of the double standard that they always have where, you know, you can't have any privacy, but they need all of the privacy. I, I heard Judge Napolitano several years ago talk about a librarian that was handed one of these yes. warrants from some FBI guy and she called over to the other librarian and said, do you know anything about this? And was arrested oh, on the wow. spot for violating a provision of the warrant that she could not tell another person about the warrant. It's so insane. Now, haven't they come up with some sort of uh, program for websites where the website will display a message that says something like, we have not been contacted by the FBI or the FISA court or whatever, NSA, the federal government, essentially, by any government agency. Uh, we have not been contacted by some government agency to reveal our files. And then the idea is if that message gets removed from the site, that is essentially the the heads up that they have been contacted because they can't say that they've been contacted. 
They cannot reveal the information of the fact that the na- national security letter, as they've been called in the past, But if they take that down, isn't that kind of like giving the confirmation that they were co- well, contacted? Well, that's exactly what it is, but it's not them saying anything. Well, they're no. Not, they're not speaking anything. It's just been removed. The information that they haven't been contacted has been removed from the site. I forget what that's called. There's some I, name I would for love that. to see, and let, let, let me rephrase that. If that happens to a company to where they have this notice up and then they wind up getting, you know, served and then they remove the notice, mm-hmm. after that point, I would love to see the court proceeding to find out whether or not they are then found guilty of violating the provisions of the warrant because in a roundabout way they have notified people that they got one of these things. Right, but they could have just taken it down for some random reason. That's I mean, true. I guess they could use that as a defense. You know, the lack of a negative is not the same as having a positive That's just statement. It. They haven't spoken, right? They right. haven't spoken. The only the information's just been removed and they have not said specifically what's actually happened. Right, but Ian, you've dealt with courts and legal stuff enough to where you know that they're going to do and oh, say and roll you. <laughs> however they want to. Yeah. And then, you know, like, you don't like the one court's ruling? Well, pay a bunch of money and take it to another court. Judge William C. Bryson, presiding judge of the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court of Review, ordered the documents from the legal battle unsealed on Thursday. Documents from the case in the lower court have not been released. Yahoo hailed the decision in a Tumblr post Thursday afternoon, saying, quote, The released documents underscore how we had to fight every step of the way to challenge the U.S. government's surveillance efforts, according to their company's general counsel. But they couldn't say a word about it until literally Thursday. And so it made it look bad for them because, as was pointed out, they were enduring criticism about being involved with the PRISM program. When in point, of, It was as though they were just going along to get along when, in point of fact, they were fighting the entire way to try to prevent this from happening. So kudos to Yahoo. Unfortunately, they lost <laughs> and your information is at risk. So you have to take certain steps in order to protect yourself. 855-450 free that's 855-450-3733 you take control here on free talk live Attention all listeners, are you ready for our free stock market webinar with PhilzGang.com? Join us September 13th to 12 noon Eastern for this live PhilzGang.com free webinar valued at $75. You'll learn how to protect your principal in this Federal Reserve controlled low interest rate market by identifying moves before they happen. To register, simply go to LearnStocksForFree.com. LearnStocksForFree.com. Or call 877-600-4264. Promo code GCN. 877-600-4264. Promo code GCN. Are you ready to surrender your right to buy body armor? No joke. Congress is now trying to outlaw civilian body armor. And if House Bill H.R. 5344 becomes law, you can kiss your right to protect yourself against rifle bullets goodbye. Don't put off your body armor purchase any longer. Go now to InfidelBodyArmor.com. Thousands of military veterans trust their lives to Infidel Body Armor. You should too. Spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L. Infidel Body Armor. Just won't quit. This is William Chambers, now a retired insurance salesman. Chambers is just one of over 95% of grandfathers who, according to a new report from the Center of Business Intelligence, secured their first and only job by walking right up to the owner of a business and asking for a position right then and there. I slammed my fist on the desk and said, I'm your man. He stood right up. He shook my hand and he said, you come in first thing Monday morning. According to the report, nearly 36% of grandfathers claim that they found employment by entering a local business with nothing but a nickel in their pockets and a shirt on their backs. 24% saw a fine looking marquee for a business and said, someday my name's going to be on that sign. And 40% of grandfathers said they snuck into the CEO's office and said, Mr. McKinley, sir, I'm your guy. It just took gumption. You didn't need some fancy internship looking the boss dead in the eye and showing him you were a man. That was your internship. This is the Onion News Network.
I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keen. Keen is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything you want. Toll free numbers 855 450 free. How do you protect yourself online? We've been talking about the uh, ultimate failure of Yahoo to defend your privacy. <laughs> they tried. And I don't know how much it cost them to, to try because, you know, they got their attorneys and they worked on this and they, it went over a period of years. They couldn't talk about it until literally just yesterday, apparently. And so they put out the word to let folks know they had attempted to stand up for folks' privacy, but your privacy if you're a Yahoo user. But ultimately, the federal government prevailed in their own courts, which shouldn't be a surprise to anyone out there that the courts will rule in favor of the government most of the time. Every now and then, a court will make a right decision just so often enough to where you'll think, oh, the system still works. But most of the time... They're not making the right decision uh, at all. Now, some decisions you should make for yourself are how to protect yourself online. Now, if you want to tell us how you do it, we'd love to hear from you. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Don't want to get too technical, but there are some basic terms you kind of need to know, like PGP, uh, which is a privacy protocol, basically. And then there's all kinds of encrypted messengers out there now that didn't exist a few years ago. So the market, I think, has been responding to this, although Daryl's got some interesting numbers from a survey of Americans about what they think about the federal government uh, snooping on them and how their opinions have changed since just last year. We'll get into that here in a moment, but if you care about privacy, we've got a great tool that can help you. It's ProXPN. Now, they're a global virtual private network that encrypts your online data. That means your internet service provider is not looking at what you're doing anymore. They can't log what you're up to. They can't log the websites you visit or the search terms you enter, which they're probably logging right now and and maybe keeping that information for up to five years. So if the feds come along and, you know, you've got Comcast or whatever and the feds come knocking, they're going to hand over all your search history. They're going to hand over all your websites that you've been to. If you'd prefer that not happen, then go to proxpn.com slash FTL and get signed up, get started, download their free software for Windows, Macintosh, iOS devices, as well as Android, plus Linux users. Setup's a little bit different for you, uh, but you can make it work with Linux pretty simply. proxpn.com slash FTL. The code you need to get 50% off the annual account is FTL50. Now, again, you can get started for free, but the free account's limited in what you can do. The 
premium account is really what you want. That's where you get the unlimited bandwidth, servers around the world to access, and the ability to privately torrent, plus get past regionally blocked websites. Go to proxpn.com slash FTL. And again, use code FTL50 to get that 50% off and bring the price down to about 5 bucks a month. That's on the annual account, by the way. There's another way to get an even better discount, because if 50% isn't enough for you, pay with Bitcoin and you'll get 62% off the price of the annual account by using code FTLBTC. You get it all with a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee, and they don't keep records of your online habits at all. So, get a great discount on privacy that's priceless. Use code FTL50 or FTLBTC at proxpn.com slash FTL. Now, ProXPN is a great service, but it's not the only thing you need. There are some other things that uh, I would recommend. So, for instance, ProXPN, they encrypt your internet connection, but ultimately, once it gets, once your data gets to ProXPN servers and goes out from there to the rest of the internet, it's not encrypted. Because it can't be encrypted when it gets to the end of its uh, its target. If you're just visiting freetalklive.com and you start sending us encrypted info, we're not going to know what to do with it. So uh, when you're communicating with people online, there are things that you can do to encrypt your communications to make it so that if somebody does intercept those communications, that they'll just see a bunch of garbage characters and they won't know what it is that they're, they're looking at. And there are always new tools that are coming out in this realm. And I was just actually informed of one of them today, which I'm pretty excited about. Uh, so you guys probably have cell phones, right? Both of you have cell phones? Yeah. I, yes. I, I think I uh, called you from it once. Do you so. have an encrypted messaging app on your cell phone? No. My chromed robot turd does not have an encrypted messaging app. So there's a, there's an app that I've been using for a few years now called Text Secure which is, I believe, to be a good one right now. I don't know for sure. I am not a programmer, How so I can't... How could you ever know? That's the thing. I can't audit the program, so I don't know. But some of these programs, and TechSecure, I believe, is one of them, are what's called open source, meaning that the programming uh, language, the actual lines of program that you could read, if, then, else, you know, all that stuff, uh, that's all readable by anyone in the public. And... Anybody who knows the programming could go in there and they can look through that program and they can say, yes, this is a secure program. This program is, you know, it does not have any backdoors built into it. I've looked at the code. I know that's true. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that would be what a technical person would say, a, a coder would be able to do. So Tech Secure has been around for a long time. Presumably it's one of the better ones. There's a new one that just came out. Uh, this one is called Telegram. Now, Tech Secure, what it does, and I think it's available for both iPhone and Android phones. I know I have it on my Android phone. But what it does is it actually encrypts your text messages from one phone to another. So text messages go over the cell phone network. They don't use necessarily, you don't have to have an internet connection. So you can send a text message. Maybe you've noticed this with your phone. If you're ever not in a data zone and you go back to just regular phone mode where you can't get on the internet, you can still send a text message. In that, in that circumstance. so Because you don't need data service to send text messages. So that's one of the things that Text Secure is nice for because a lot of the online texting apps, you have to have data in order to be able to use those apps. You, you can't send a message to your friends unless you're in an area that has data coverage. So with Text Secure, you can be anywhere where there's just plain old cell phone coverage and be able to send encrypted texts to your friends. So that's a pretty valuable thing to have, and I don't plan on replacing Tech Secure. I think it's very good, and I've never seen anything that competes with Tech Secure, unfortunately. But it, it works, and it seems to work very well. So if somebody, uh, if the cell phone company wants to go and pull up my phone's files or you know look at my records to see who I've been texting, they'll know to which numbers I've been texting. Because, again, you have to put in that person's number to send the text over a cell phone network. But they won't be able to read them. It'll just be gobbledygook. So that's pretty cool. But this new thing, uh, and I was using a different program called SureSpot for a little while, which is not a texting program. It's just like a, an instant messaging program. Uh, the difference being that texting is over the cell phone network. Instant messaging you need data for. So I was using this for instant messaging, and I was just informed of a new one, which is called Telegram. This is in alpha so normally you don't generally want to download alpha software because it can be really buggy. But it was recommended to me by actually the guys who programmed the Free Talk Live website 
uh, the designers. And they said they've been really I trust this. them. Yeah. They said they've been enjoying this. The website for uh, for Telegram claims that, you know, it's open source and you can go and look at the code. And uh, basically what this does that I've not seen before is it's something that's usable across different platforms. So I have uh, the Telegram program on my computer and I have the Telegram program on my Android phone. So I guess Google Hangouts does this, but you can't encrypt with Google Hangouts. So with uh, uh, with this program, Telegram, if I send a message, let's say, Ellen, you were on the Telegram program, we would both have an encrypted connection. I could send you a message from my home, com you know, the studio computer here. It would show up on your cell phone, and it would also show up on my cell phone as well because okay. I have the same program in both places. Well, that sounds so useful. Question about the uh, app on the computer. Yes. Are you sending this through like a Google Voice or you're sending it through the through app? Through the internet. You're sending it through the app, through the internet. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. it basically it creates something other than a telephone number that you wind up getting your text through? Well, that's that, the that, thing. That's what confuses me. Okay, so right. So when I, when I downloaded the programs, I first tried the Windows program the desktop program, and it would not let me start until I actually had a phone number punched into it. So so I needed to have a phone. There seemed to be another way to do it, and I didn't explore that other way, so there may be a way to create an account without having a phone with this program. I suspect there is. But So what I ended up doing was going on my phone, installing it there, creating an account on the phone, and then it was easy to log in on the, on the computer. So basically, you send a text from any of your devices and it's pretty cool. Like when I logged in to this program for the first time, Brian and Stephanie from the Sunday show, they were already in there because they're already in the system for this particular network. Interesting. Yeah, it's pretty neat. You can check it out at telegram.org. It's kind of cool to bring the term telegram back to. It's free talk live. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. Oh, fall. A time for cooler temperatures and hot deals from America's Best Value Inn. Save 15% when you book a room online at americasbestvalueinn.com and stay now through October 23rd. Plus, you'll enjoy free continental breakfast, internet, and instant rewards through our Value Club at most of our 1,000 hotels in North America. Fall into savings this season at America's Best Value Inn. Have you heard? Proactive Plus is faster and better than ever. Stay tuned for a million bottle giveaway and you'll also receive free shipping. Do you have troubled skin? Acne? Well, we have great news. With Proactive Plus, your acne can heal and you can help prevent new breakouts from happening. Don't miss this limited time offer. Give us a call at 800-538-5252 because we're going to let a million people try Proactive Plus risk-free and get two free gifts and also receive free shipping when you call right now. You heard it. This offer won't last long. So call Proactive Plus now and you'll receive a 60-day risk-free trial of Proactive Plus, two free extras, and free shipping. Call 800-538-5252. This is our exclusive radio offer, never on TV. Get your risk-free 60-day trial of Proactive Plus with free shipping. That's right, free shipping. Don't wait. Call 800-538-5252. That's 800-538-5252. The Shire Free Church offers a sanctuary to those seeking an escape from state churches. The Shire Free Church is an interfaith, diverse group of people that may not share identical theological beliefs. As a member in or minister of the Shire Free Church, you are a sovereign individual and may be the faith of your choice. We don't claim to have all of the answers. We are open to all peaceful people. We want to learn from each other. What unifies the Shire Free Church and its diverse members is peace, love, and liberty. There are many paths to God, one for every individual. The Shire Free Church does not define a specific path beyond those parameters that must be your foundation. Peace as your way, love as your guide, and liberty as your light. 
Learn more at church.shiresociety.com. That's church.shiresociety.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Nothing compares to a good cup of coffee. But if you're getting your coffee from the store, you're likely not getting a good cup of coffee. Free Talk Live's teamed up with BuzzBox to bring you a free pound of the best of the best coffee, shade-grown, organic, top 1% grade Arabica. But what's different is that for every 10 people that get coffee through our link, coffee.freetalklive.com, we can give another micro loan through Kiva. When the loan's paid, we lend the money again. Help others, one cup at a time, coffee.freetalklive.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. We invite you to bring up whatever's on your mind. What are some of the cool encrypted apps that we don't know about? Uh, I've talked about Text Secure, which is one for cell phones. I believe both iPhone and Android. It actually encrypts your texting, which is cool. Uh, there's also the brand new Telegram app, which is a... Ooh, that's my Telegram app. I need to find out how to turn the damn sounds off. Uh, that will. <laughs> that sounds pretty nice, though. That will well, actually, it'll allow you to uh, to text across your platform. So I'm on a Windows machine, and I've got my Android phone, and there's a Telegram app for both of those, and I think Mac and probably Linux. I don't have the site pulled up at the moment. Telegram.org is where you can go and check that out. Again, they claim they're open source. They claim that you, know, you can audit their code and that they're encrypted. So what are some of the other tools? You can share them with us at 855-450-FREE. That's 855 855- Four five zero three seven three three, and uh, coming up still, we've got to get to the numbers that you have, Daryl, in a poll conducted about Americans because we've been talking about Yahoo basically being bent over a barrel by the federal government, them trying to put up a fight for privacy of their users, ultimately f- uh, ending in failure, and of course your privacy being totally uh, raped by the federal government. And so we'll get into that here. 855-450 freeze the toll-free number. We've got Skype as well. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. And we'd love to hear more apps. There's also Red Phone. We can talk about that, too. That's an encrypted calling app. William, though, is first listening in Madison to lrn.fm. Hello, William. Hey, how you guys doing? Um, Go ahead. You know, I I was listening to what you were talking about there with... uh, uh, with that, and, and and you know, it made me think of a different topic than I initially called about, which is starting a business, uh, and and how that relates to kind of what we're what we're taught and what people see out there, you know, in in the news in in terms of things like this, uh, breaches and and the bar- kinds of barriers that get thrown up, and and I think a lot of that not only affects how people behave, but also it affects how they think. And so that, in turn, affects how they how they behave. You know, I, I recently started a business, and uh, a few of my partners are less experienced with uh, with doing entrepreneurship, and there's so much hesitation uh, because people they just see with things like this on the news, and and they think that there's this big mysterious world that you have to learn all about now. Otherwise, um, uh, you're going to mess up, and you're going to get in trouble. And when you say this big mysterious world, you mean like the world of government regulation, or what? What do you mean there? Yeah, yeah. yeah quite frankly, yeah. That's it's it's that, and also though, also the world of creating a company, and you know, having to disillusion people to the fact that companies are just people, mm. you know, and and really all of these things are just groups of people. You know, in terms of Yahoo, uh, this isn't only an invasion of our privacy, but this is a this is just a, a breach of the whole notion of people making agreements in the first place. You know, and that later someone else can come in and say, I know you two agreed to uh, to share things this way, things that you've created, uh, but but that doesn't matter. We say that you have to do this with it now. 
you know, that's really what it's all about. And, uh, and, and, you know, we, we talk in these layers of regulation and et cetera, but, you know, really it's just groups of people. Um, whether, whether that's, you know, coming from a positive perspective of creating a company, you know, it's just a group of people doing something and sure, agreeing but those on group, how to you know, that, the outcome. Uh, but I understand where the, the, the fear or the trepidation will come from. It can be overwhelming yeah. looking at the legal aspects of getting a group of people together and then dealing with the other group of people calling themselves government or the state who will use guns and violence and levies on bank accounts. Oh, exactly. It's, it's already complicated enough. <laughs> or sure. you're bringing a third party. You know? I, right, right. Now I see what you're saying. When it's it's already yeah. complicated to get investors and start a business, and then you add in all this yeah. stupid government regulations and the you know the ridiculous rules and fines and licensing fees and bribes yep. uh, that you have to pay, and, and, it's insane. And the fact that we have a we have a time scarcity problem in dealing with organizing human affairs, and so if we're spending our time learning about how to tiptoe around people who uh, you know, frankly, have no business being there in the first place. But whom with we wouldn't interact with, but for uh, you know, it, it takes away from the time that we could be strengthening relationships with people we intend on uh, spending our time with. Absolutely, uh, every and, and moment you spend from, interacting yeah. with a bureaucrat is one moment you can't spend taking care of your customers or your employees. I mean, there's no doubt about yeah. that. And it's just, to me, I'm amazed that anyone bothers in certain industries and yeah. in certain places. Like, you know, it's shocking to me that somebody would open a business yep. in, in certain, you know, uh, jurisdictions where the regulations are so stringent and so difficult to jump through the hoops. It's just a, the the drive of business people is really, it's an inspiring thing that they can keep doing business, that they can push on through despite all of the regulatory hurdles put in front of them. I mean, just looking at that level of drive to do business and to make customers happy, is it's inspiring. The marketplace is an amazing well, thing, and it well, makes me wonder you know, how wanna... it would be in the absence of all the government regulators. If people could just go and start their own business, what wonderful products and services would we have today that we don't have because somebody looked at all the yeah. rules and said, you know what, F this, I'm just going to keep my J-O-B and go to work every day. Yeah, the people yep. who usually and, and, change the world are the ones that don't abide by the rules. That's true. Absolutely. Or, you know, it's the, it, it, it's the people who have the means uh, to deal with it. And you want to make a, a big sweeping point to a, uh, to a liberal audience, and probably a conservative one too, but to a government-leaning one, you say, you know, uh, these regulations, it's the, it's the big, you know, corporate folks who have their own people doing that. And the small business guy... Uh, has to now spend his his time where he would be doing strategy and thinking about the next thing, mm -hmm. what's the next move, who should I talk to? Um, those those guys in the boardrooms, you know, these fortune companies, they get the time to do that. They don't have to run to the copier. They don't have to, you know, do payroll by hand, right? And um, and, so, and a lot know, of when it comes down to the next thing, it's just more time. Um, and a lot of cases. I'll comments on that off the air. In a lot of cases, it's the big corporations that are advocating for the regulations. And we've talked about Uber and Lyft enough on this show to where anybody that's listened knows that it's the you know establishment taxi companies yep. that are begging the local governments to do something about Uber and Lyft. They're hurting our business. Do something about them. And they we are. had to pay quarters of millions of dollars for these little plaques that allow us to be a taxi do something about them oh, they're doing something they're, they're not doing everything that we did mm -hmm. yeah well did you guys just they just feel bad those, isn't that those, uh, those regulations you guys must be racist for that you know that that's a talking point that i hear here in madison is uh isn't that Hello? something that they call uh you know like the angry slave you know where they're upset slave on slave violence yes you know they're they're upset oh, because no. they're not getting punished as much as this guy. Right. It's so common where a business owner that is regulated and licensed will be the one who snitches out the person who is not licensed because they've been beaten down so effectively by this system 
that they feel like, well, if I've been beaten down, everybody needs to be beaten down. Let's have beatdowns all around. Everybody needs to go get in line. You need to beat down now so we can all feel beaten together. It's kind of like that Rush song, The Trees, where, you know, the trees are upset because there's trees that are taller than them. So Mm -hmm. they try to equal it out. And in the uh, end, the entire forest is chopped down. Sorry. uh, Go ahead, William. Sorry. Yeah, it's like if you skip class and and you don't like it, so you just don't go and some other kid gets angry at you, you know? Oh, I just don't want to do that. Thanks for the call tonight, William. I do appreciate hearing yeah. from you. Good points. Uh, Toll-free number 855-450-FREE. And, th- and I think there are a lot of people who have had their entrepreneurial spirit spirit crushed before it was even before it even had a chance to manifest. Right. So and what I mean by that is you get some sort of idea that you think is brilliant. Maybe it's not. Maybe it maybe it would have turned out that had you tried to bring the product to the market, it would have failed. Maybe nobody else really would have cared about it or not enough people would have cared enough to make it worthwhile. You don't know. You won't know for sure until you try. But a lot of people are just stopped cold in their tracks for fear of what might happen to them for you know having to jump through these hoops and not being able to afford an attorney to try to figure out how to jump through the hoops and being worried that if you don't cross the T's and dot the I's correctly that you're going to end up with uh, $250,000 a day in fines or even $500 a day. That's going to put any small business person out of business. And $500 a day in fines is not uncommon to find in city ordinances as far as if you don't do X, Y, or Z in the way they want you to. So there are plenty of people who've had some brilliant idea for some product or service that once they start once they a lot of people will ask themselves well how do we do this the right way and when they say that what they mean is how do we do this legally how do we jump through all the government hoops so we won't have men with guns come in point guns at us and shut our business down because that's really what's going to happen right if you don't do what they tell you to do if you don't jump through all their hoops they will send the police in and you will be shut down by force and that stopped a whole lot of businesses from ever getting off the ground it's tragic more coming up are you searching for your soulmate someone you can trust who will never betray you or cooperate with the nsa stop searching with easy dns you found a keeper easy dns does it all domain names web hosting and managed wordpress hosting easy dns stands up for your internet freedom and with servers in canada they do not cooperate with the nsa go to easydns.com you'll love their services or get a full refund they guarantee it and they accept bitcoin that's easydns.com khalid lives in gaza he makes his living as a taxi driver The engine in his old beater blew up. Now, he makes good money driving people in his cab, but he couldn't afford the $1,300 for a new engine. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan for the engine, and he's back on the road. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference. One cup at a time. Get a free pound to try out the subscription. Cancel any time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. My name is Jacob Hornberger. I'm president of the Future of Freedom Foundation, which Congressman Ron Paul awarded for having an outstanding freedom website. Write us at fff at fff.org, and we'll send you a free three-month subscription to our monthly journal of libertarian essays and our booklet, Economic Liberty in the Constitution, which George Mason University economics professor Walter Williams praised in a recent column. That's fff at fff.org. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Kane in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Friday, September 12th, 2014. Silver is trading at $18.62 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,237 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $476. 
Antiwar.com reports the Russian brokered ceasefire in East Ukraine is holding, much to the chagrin of Western nations looking to use the ongoing war as an excuse to spark a new Cold War. Not to worry, though, they're going to keep trying. President Obama announced a new round of sanctions against Russia's financial and energy sector yesterday aimed at punishing them for Russia's illegal actions in Ukraine. President Obama blamed Russia for the war and the administration hasn't seemed too happy with peace either. The European Union, which had announced sanctions earlier in the week but delayed them because of the ceasefire, announced they're going to implement them today whether the ceasefire collapses or not. President Obama spoke of the potential for the sanctions to be rolled back if Russia complies with the very non-specific Western demands, but the implementation of new sanctions after Russia effectively took the helm to end the Ukrainian war they've been harping about suggests that whatever happens in the week and months to come, the West will find excuses to continue the sanctions war. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Coinbase. Coinbase is a simple and secure online Bitcoin wallet for sending, receiving, and storing Bitcoin. Get started at coinbase.fppradio.com. That's coinbase.fppradio.com. UPI reports Yahoo on Thursday made public a secret legal battle with the federal government over request for user information. The battle became so heated the government threatened the company with fines of $250,000 per day if they did not give them what they wanted. Yahoo made the threat public after a special federal court unsealed 1,500 pages of legal documents. Those legal documents were over the scope of National Security Agency surveillance programs. The documents bring new light on tensions between American tech companies and the intelligence community long before former NSA contractor Edward Snowden started leaking documents last year. In a written statement, Yahoo's general counsel Ron Bell said, We refuse to comply with what we viewed as unconstitutional and overbroad surveillance and challenged the U.S. government's authority. He also said that the challenge and the later appeal in the case was unsuccessful. In a joint statement, the Justice Department and Office of Direct of National Intelligence said the court found the government has sufficient procedures in place to ensure that the Fourth Amendment rights of targeted U.S. persons are adequately protected and that the requests were reasonable. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long term investment. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800 874 9760. The Guardian reports PayPal will start accepting Bitcoin payments through its subsidiary Braintree, according to a company statement. The firm is partnering with Bitcoin payment processor Coinbase, one of the largest Bitcoin companies which already handles payments for clients including Overstock and Reddit. Bill Reddy, the CEO of Braintree, said, This is PayPal making a move to embrace Bitcoin. The integration of Bitcoin means companies that already use Braintree to run their payments will be able to accept Bitcoin in the coming months without changing their configuration, a move that could boost adoption of the cryptocurrency. Braintree already handles transactions by companies like Uber, Airbnb, and Dropbox. Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong told TechCrunch, We had a lot of developers tell us they'd love to add Bitcoin. But Braintree handles their payments and they didn't want to add another SDK. They would say that if Braintree added it, they would add it. Merchants wanting to accept Bitcoin payments will still need to set up a Coinbase wallet, but they do have the option to instantly convert every Bitcoin payment back into fiat currency. Braintree support for Bitcoin follows the announcement of Bitcoin adoption by a competitor, Stripe, back in March. The integration with Braintree won't affect customers or merchants with PayPal accounts. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Joe Chris Beckman. From claim jumpers to politicians to coyotes, the straight shooter that shook up the presidential race is taking them all on and licking them good. Hello, Joe. Who and what's behind these potato monkey shines? Well, these scientists are trying to mass produce potatoes that are more resistant to disease, but they're doing so in potentially dangerous ways that alter their DNA. Hater disease, what brung us Irish? Right. You give a 
dictator. Man's constitution. You can bet he's coming to play old Joe to call. Yes, well, nature's revenge could come in the form of disease now you listen or to allergens. Me, taters. You got gave a mind of a tater. Joe, please, l l let me make my point. You're tater-minded and you're looking to infiltrate old Joe's cabin, but you're too late. No. Now you get out or I right, slice your tater heart out and fry it up on my okay, grill. Okay, Joe. Now you all stay close. You're going to have my jug band back here and Jasper don't let me strum the worst part. We're going to resort to cutting. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. You are the one who is responsible for protecting your own privacy, but you can't do it alone. You've got to have uh, apps. you got to have somebody programming it for you unless you are a programmer and you can program all your own uh, stuff for encryption, which, of course, then no one else would have the same program. So you got to find apps. you got to find trustworthy apps. And we were sort of talking about some of the options out there. Plus, uh, Daryl, you've got some news, some disturbing, sad news about Americans and their perspective on whether the government is bad for spying or good for spying, how the happy they are with the protections of their privacy that the government is providing them with, things like that, some sort of issue, some sort of poll about people's opinions about the government invasion of privacy. We'll get into that here in a moment because it's not good news and your calls are certainly welcome with you in the studio tonight by the way it's ian here ellen and daryl and don't forget you can join us online at freetalklive.com get on the phones at 855 450 free and also join us via skype at username lrn.fm let's continue here you can bring up anything you want we've got will and will is on in mississippi listening via tune in what's up guys how's it going will what's on your mind tonight not a whole lot, man. I'm just heading over to the mall. First off, I want to say you guys have some of the greatest segment intro music ever. You guys are so fucking metal. Oh, you can't say language. that on the radio. Unfortunately, we're doing a radio show. I'm glad you like the intro music. Um, but that is true. It's pretty metal. He's into it, and like a lot of metalheads, he did not censor his uh, his words. So Unfortunate about that, about that because... You know, I, w I would like to hear what else he has to yeah, say. Yeah, maybe he had something else he was going to get to, but and we won't know I, I, I don't like when people say censor, like, you know, you didn't censor yourself. It should be you didn't moderate what you said because censor has a definition. Yeah. and it's the, the government, right? Right. Shutting and you down, shutting down speech. Shutting down speech. Not just, like, you can't say that in this location, it's you can't say that anywhere under any circumstance. Hmm. So, you know, like, wait, so censorship doesn't include context? Is that what you're saying? No. No, I, I'm saying that Ian misused the word censor. The guy should have moderated what he said. Hmm. Censor would have been, he can't say that word anywhere ever. Right, guess, but that's what I mean. You're saying that censorship is uh, all-inclusive and there's no context in which you can say this one word. No, what he's saying is that a censor is a government job. That a censor right. is, is kind of historically and even in the definition, it basically means some government person telling you you can't say something. Right, and I, I've or heard— write something. I, I've heard you know, activists say, I was censored by YouTube. No, you violated, you know, one of the many terms of service. Well, I've also and YouTube removed that video. YouTube isn't going to prevent you from putting the video on Vimeo. But wait, what about the or terms on your own website? But what about the term self-censor? That one's been used. And before. I hate that term. Cuz it it's it's just not accurate as well. Because you're it's not an accurate term. Mm -hmm. Okay, but can't you say that you have governance over yourself or any That's person good, that has authority argument. over you? is a governing figure, not that they work for the government as we know it today, mm. but that they are in control of you in some manner. All right, so here's the Merriam... I think that's a solid argument, Ellen. Let's see what Merriam-Webster's dictionary says here. Censor, okay, so we don't want the noun, because that's a person who examines books, movies, letters, etc., and removes things that are considered to be offensive, immoral, or harmful to society. Although it doesn't say a government person. 
So I guess in theory that would mean it, that would mean a book company could have a censor. Right. Um, going on here, censor as a verb to examine books, movies, letters in order to remove things. So they don't say anything about it being the government. And do you think that's because uh, it's changed over the years? The Probably. Because people yeah, use it. Definitions modify, and it's upsetting to you. When people misuse words, according, because words have meanings. According to this, uh, it's not misusing it to say that I censored someone or somebody else who's not in the government censored someone. And you can use the word govern and governing and government without meaning the the actual organization. True, true. I think she's got you on this one, Daryl. I, I, I think she does as well, yep. but... I, I hate it when people use the word censor okay. to mean something other than, you know, a complete prohibition of being able to say. So you or don't like do it when people say censor in as a term to define something that uh something like you get record around. stimulus. So, something that was moderated <laughs> in that- one forum but not prohibited across all platforms. So what if I were to use censor as like this this ultraviolet censor isn't working? Different like, type of sensor. You different type of sensor, <laughs> spelled a completely different way. That one has an S at the beginning, not a C. Well, you didn't define sensor. <laughs> See, how do you like it when this is turned around on you, Daryl? You don't have to be so nitpicky with everyone Toll and free everything. Number, 855 450 free. Let's get back into this here. Your calls and thoughts. Matthew in San Francisco, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, guys. How you doing? Hey, what's, what's on your mind? Okay, so I have two things. Uh, I want to talk about the NFL and the whole scandal with the hitting women thing first. With who? Have, uh, mixed. National Football and League. Have the, uh, What's the scandal? Yeah. I pay no attention to sports. That there was a football oh. player, Ray Rice, who assaulted his girlfriend, fiance. What's new? It's not uh, the first time some was football. caught on video. Oh, okay. He caught got a exactly. two-game suspension. That's there it? was a, there was another player. Who failed a drug test? Had, oh yeah, I heard had about marijuana that. in his system was suspended for the fair. entire season. Well, that's fair. This is what happens with the drug. See, this is why all NFL watchers and supporters should be against the drug war. What were you? Oh, saying, I am Matthew? against the drug war. I am against the drug war completely. And to be honest, though, that was that he was a Cincinnati Bengal, I believe, and it was his third time failing the drug test, which I don't think matters. It's freedom, and he should be allowed to do what he wants to do. Right. It's not a drug. It's not a performance enhancing drug, so he's not gaining any fair advantage over unfair advantage. What was over the drug? Another. Cannabis. Oh, okay. Cannabis. Everybody in Absolutely. the NFL. I mean, there's probably ninety percent of the players in the NFL <laughs> smoke cannabis. And what? They just don't get caught. Yeah, they right. just don't I mean, get caught. I what? agree. Uh, do they? Do they, they, they couldn't possibly test all these guys randomly, right? Like, what's the? What are the rules that they have to follow? Oh, is it just, they're random. That that now. that's all they say publicly is so, random drug so, tests. Meaning that it's random yeah. and we'll only really choose you if we want to out you for some reason and get rid of you. Is that kind of right. the randomness? Yeah, exactly. Basically, but as an NFL fan, which I am a huge NFL fan, go Seahawks. Um, all I want to <laughs> say is I just don't feel that you know. I'm a peace-loving guy, and I don't want to victim blame here. The, the woman is the victim in this situation. I am. And not no, you, no, no, no. Ray situation. Rice's girlfriend. <laughs> Ray Rice's girlfriend. Not you, ma'am. No, ma'am. Um, <laughs> no. It's just I just wish that as a, as a product, we as a society have to self-censor. <laughs> um, uh, basically, not watch, which is so hard for me to do. And that leads to me, leads me to another point is – Wait, wait, what you're saying – hold on. What you're saying is you want to uh, not watch the NFL to somehow punish them? Right. If, if we They're all not going to – you're dropping the bucket, man. I, mean, I know. I know. I know. And, and But which leads me to my other point, which I was actually calling about. John from Arizona, if you don't like the show, don't listen. If you don't like the host, you have – there's a thousand other radio stations. I'm not saying don't call in if you don't want to, but I mean. Well, here's the th- hold on. Okay, so now we've gone from one topic to another. So, so I let's know. Uh, just real quick on your second point about mm-hmm. the Arizona call uh, that you're upset by. 
Look, it's an open phone. If it's an open phone show, and uh, and callers like the person you're talking about know that it's pretty easy to get on the air on Free Talk Live. He'd get screened out on you know most every other show out there as soon as they learned what his game was and what he sounded like and and all that. So you know we don't have a heavy screening policy. In fact, it's a very light policy to get on the air here. And people, some people want to take advantage of that, and that's fine. I don't mind. It doesn't bother me at all. Obviously, it bothers Mark. He has decided to quit talking to that particular caller. And I, I think that's I think that's kind of silly, personally. But I don't blame him. But the, the show, coming. the show is also supposed to be a panel discussion. Oh, you can read this keyword no, discussion. No, no, it's an open phone show, and there's a panel here. There's no obligation for someone to have a discussion. They can call in. They can call in, say one sentence, make a statement, and hang up the phone. And that's a legitimate call on this show. 855 450 free. Quit trying to exclude people from Free Talk Live. You can take control here. Bring up what you want. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact in helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn it's top one percent arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com On the average, Americans work between 45 to 50 years hoping to build up enough wealth to retire and live out their golden years. Unfortunately, with taxation, the rising cost of food, energy, housing, and medical, many retirees are forced to live below the poverty line. Is this a flaw for free enterprise, or is our monetary unit we call the Federal Reserve Note forcing us into perpetual debt, ensuring inflation and higher taxes? These questions and more can be answered by reading G. Edward Griffin's book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. Congressman Ron Paul states it's what every American needs to know about central bank power, a gripping adventure into the secret world of international banking cartel. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I will give a silver dollar from the early 1900s to anyone who purchases this book. Call one 800 68 and order a copy today. It's critical that the public be made aware of the system. Call and order your copy today at 1-800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you got to keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at gunsandweed.com or on Amazon. That's gunsandweed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's gunsandweed.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, Buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 
877-357-9938. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. We invite you to take control of these airwaves here. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Now, if you want to call in and insult us or make some sort of brief statement, ask a question and then hang up the phone, that's totally fine. There's no obligation for you to have a discussion, but obviously it's going to keep your call relatively short. If you are interesting, intriguing, fun, exhilarating, or some other adjective... Uh, that's of interest, you might stay on longer. And that's, you know, we just kind of play it by ear. Toll-free number, 855-450-FREE. But if you say the F-bomb or the S-bomb or a few other bombs, uh, that's not going to get you very far at all. 855-450-3733. We had Matthew on the line. I was hoping he would stick around. Uh, he dropped off. He had called in about the NFL and the, the, the just kind of the inconsistency and in how they're punishing people. I guess there's some player who was on video beating his girlfriend or wife. And then there's another player who got a drug test that he failed, the third test that he failed. And so the drug test guy got punished harsher or more harshly than did uh, the person who was physically assaulting another human being yes and uh there was some more i think to say on that because he was talking about how he was thinking about a boycott of the nfl we'll get back into that toll free numbers 855 450 free and at coffee.freetalklive.com you can get a free pound of some of the best of the best coffee out there from buzzbox it's shade grown 100 percent organic and top one percent grade arabica coffee from buzzbox has been the rave of uh, various different hosts on this show. Mark drinks like a whole pot of this stuff every single day. Uh, I personally, I'm not a coffee drinker, but everybody I'm hearing from who has had BuzzBox and who's into coffee, so presumably, you know, they know their stuff, uh, they've really enjoyed BuzzBox. But BuzzBox isn't just great coffee. It's also a company that actually does good things for people around the world. In this case, for every 10 Free Talk Live listeners that buys their coffee from coffee.freetalklive.com Free Talk Live will be able to fund a micro loan through Kiva so you can help us with that just go to coffee.freetalklive.com get signed up for their program you get the first pound for free you just have to pay the shipping cost coffee.freetalklive.com you can cancel your subscription at any time so the discussion was going into the area of boycotting the NFL uh, the gentleman who had called the show earlier was upset over their policy about how they're treating this pot smoking player more harshly than a violent player, a player who was violent with his girlfriend and or wife. And it's disturbing news, no doubt, but the NFL is such a large organization. It's like when somebody says they're going to boycott their cell phone company. What the hell does Sprint or Verizon care if you real, if, if you leave? Ultimately, it's just a drop in the bucket. You'd have to have some significant portion of consumers leave and or make it known to the company that you're upset with them and that you're, you know, I'm not going to buy any more jerseys this year. I'm not going to buy any, you know, any more tickets to the game. I won't watch it on television, etc. But in a lot of cases, boycotts don't really work out. They don't pan out because uh, what will happen is there will be what they call a boycott in response. So classic example of this was the uh, more recent Chick-fil-A controversy. I don't know if you guys recall this. It was, I think, last year. Chick-fil-A, some of their... The Chick-fil-A, I miss Chick-fil-A, I gotta say. I, I love some, me some Chick-fil-A. Um, <laughs> but they did some really stupid stuff in 2013. Now, Chick-fil-A has always been a religious company. Yes. Um, and that's something that's kind of kind of bothered me as a as a customer over the years, especially when I was a teenage atheist. Uh, but it never stopped me from eating there because... Damn, their fried chicken is good. Um, <laughs> their chicken sandwiches. But they've always had this religious bend, and it really bothered me as a customer because I any every, it seemed like every time I always thought about Chick Fil A, it would be Sunday, and I couldn't go to Chick Fil A because they're closed on on Sunday. So that was probably the most frustrating. You think they did that on purpose? 
Do you think they knew, yes. like, oh, it's Sunday, everybody's getting out of church now, so let's not serve them? Well, no, they did it on purpose because Sunday's the holy day or whatever, and right. so you're not, you're not supposed, supposed to work, to on, work Sundays. on Sunday. Okay, so but that- isn't Chick-fil-A's main competitor another fast food restaurant like KFC? I would guess KFC would be a main competitor of Chick-fil-A. I would not put Chick-fil-A and KFC in the same category See, at all. Why not? I never really thought about that before. chick I've never compared the two products. That they primarily sell chicken sandwiches, sandwiches which KFC now sells. Now and has sold but for a while. Their primary thing is chickens, fried chicken. Yeah, but it's a different kind of chicken. I get you. I get you. But I would say Ellen's onto something. Unless you could think of a better nationally known competitor to Chick Fil A. I don't. I don't know one. of any other company that primarily sells chicken right. sandwiches. Popeyes, maybe. But yeah, I would say Popeyes, Popeyes is more That's like more a, a competitor, competitor to KFC. Yeah. So there you go. Maybe Popeyes. They have some sandwiches there. Wendy's has a spicy chicken. Okay, so but what that. about Waffle Houses? I mean, no. you can't deny that waffles are delicious, and sometimes they're better than chicken. Definitely not a competitor for Chick-fil-A. But uh, let me go back to my point. So I was bringing <laughs> up Chick-fil-A because last year they did something really stupid. There was some comment about, well, I don't even remember what it was, some insensitive, ridiculous, outrageous comment made by one of their CEOs or something like that about gay people. Because, again, Chick-fil-A is a religious organization, and a lot of people in religion, organized religion, are biased and homophobic. Yeah. So that was what it was. But what happened as a result of that was some folks in, uh, some folks of the, uh, the gay community, whatever that means, people who you know, were upset, had themselves a boycott, and then the sort of the right-wing ultra-conservative types, the religious types, uh, fundamentalist Christians, those folks, they had a boycott. And the boycott resulted in lines of people pouring out from the front of the Chick-fil-A, you know, going down the street kind of lines on one day. They picked this one day for everybody to go, go and buy food from Chick-fil-A. Show them how you hate gay people. And so that's what people did. And Chick-fil-A, I think, came out on top on that one. I don't know what the, you know, what the end end of the day totals were as far as or the end of the, the year totals were. But certainly for that boy or that boycott day, they did very, very well. And the amount of free publicity that they received from all of the hubbub surrounding this stupid statement the CEO made ultimately was a good thing for them. So okay, boycotts sometimes just, backfire, is my point. Right. But what if you're just a, a random uh, you know, average user of Chick Fil A or uh, some other fast food restaurant that's having this boycott. You don't know what the purpose of all of these people lined up outside are. You're gonna turn around and go away. I mean, are they gonna be standing there holding signs saying "We hate gay people"? Yeah, that's actually, I think they did food that. Here. I think I think they actually did that. Yeah, I don't so. know, but so. remember the owner of the Chick Fil A in Manchester or Concord, wherever. There's Nashua, the Nashua a Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A in New Hampshire. Uh, the owner of that one actually wound up giving sandwiches or some kind of... For Pride Fest. Support to Pride Fest. Yeah, that was so awesome. I love that detail. Rod is with us in Canada. You're on via Skype. Hello, Rod. Hi, guys. Um, I wanted to talk about some privacy tools. Oh, good. Yeah, um, there is an add-on for Firefox and for uh, Chrome... That's called the HTTPS everywhere. Okay, I want to know what that means. I want to. I want it explained in uh, as English as possible. And so, hang on, Rod. We're uh, going to bring you back to do that with us here in a moment. Toll free number eight fifty five four fifty three. This one I've seen, but I never really knew what it was. I didn't take the time to look into it. So we'll see uh, why Rod thinks it's pretty exciting and useful. Coming up here in moments. You share your thoughts. Summertime is save big time at Herbal Healer Academy. Long-term customers know summer is the time to stock up at HerbalHealer.com. And for new customers, welcome to the web's best place to save on vitamins, minerals, and more. Log on for summer specials, including all sizes of colloidal silver, colloidal minerals, and intestinal freedom on sale. Choose from Herbal Healer's great variety of weight loss products like apple cider vinegar, hoodia, and metabolic complex and pro-metabolic, all on sale now. Also, the anti-parasite intestinal freedom and wormwood plus complex, plus stevia liquid sweetener and the super enzymes, all on sale for summer at herbalhealer.com. As always, we offer certificate correspondence courses in natural 
medicine. Enjoy same-day shipping and free online newsletter. Log on now to HerbalHealer.com and look for summer specials to save big with our nation's leader in supplying quality natural medicine and education. Since 1988, Herbal Healer Academy. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. Radio is the most personal of mediums. I exist right now in your head. If you listen to Free Talk Live regularly, you know me. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations around the U.S. and has been downloaded on every continent around the world. Hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 a month to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Hi, I'm Derek J. To me, an activist's calling is to actively work to advance a cause. The cause for which I work is personal freedom. I believe my life is best when I engage in voluntary interactions and self-government. I reject the idea that anyone else has a higher claim to my life or my body than I do. I see people who call themselves the government as a threat to my personal freedom. I realize you may feel differently, but my relationship with the people who call themselves the government is completely involuntary. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live. Take control toll-free here and bring up anything that you want. We've been talking uh, on and off throughout the show about privacy and how to achieve a semblance of it on the Internet. You can't count on companies like Yahoo or Google, although Yahoo did their best to fight the federal government. They ultimately lost, and now they have to turn over whatever information the government wants to, it wants them to, even without a warrant. And we can get back into that here in a moment. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. We've got uh, something also very important to talk to you about. Andrew Jones. He is a Free State Project participant. He's somebody who cares about the ideas of freedom. He's so uh, into the ideas of freedom. He's joined the Free State Project. He wants to move to New Hampshire, as do thousands of others. In fact, the Free State Project has over 16,000 participants now with people all across the world planning on making a move to New Hampshire to achieve more liberty in our lifetime. That's the reason why the three of us are here together. That's the reason why we know one another, uh, because we all moved here for the Free State Project. Now, Drew, Andrew Jones, he can't move anywhere at the moment. In fact, he can't even leave his parents' house 
and that's because he's on bail conditions. He's out on a million-dollar bond from the federal government after they arrested him for, for allegedly being Silk Road Administrator Inigo. And there were only four people arrested for the operation of the original Silk Road, and he's one of them. He hasn't been found guilty in court yet, so we don't know whether or not he's the, he's the real Inigo, but whether he is or not, if you think the war on drugs is crazy, for those of you that don't know, the Silk Road's an underground drug marketplace, and you can buy other interesting things on as well. Not just for drugs? Not just for drugs. Fake IDs, whatever else. Normal, and, everyday products. Yeah, there are some legal things on there as well. But anyway, he's accused of being one of the administrators there, and he needs help in his uh, putting on his defense. He's got an attorney, but they're not cheap, especially when we're talking about federal drug cases where you might be spending the rest of your life in prison. So if you want to help him and his parents out paying for this, please go to DrewsDefense.org. That's DrewsDefense.org. Again, DrewsDefense.org. Let's bring Rod back on the line. He is with us via Skype. Our Skype username is LRN.FM. Now, Rod, you were going to tell us about some of the, some of your favorite apps for uh, helping your helping you stay private online, and you said HTTPS Everywhere is one of them. What is that, and why is it useful? Well, basically, there's two ways that your browser can, can communicate with a website. One is in plain text that everybody can read, and the other one is encrypted. Not all websites support this, but if the website supports it, then this app, this add-on, forces your communication, forces the website to use the encrypted form. Mm -hmm. so, so normally what, if you uh, look on your, if you've got a web browser up, and if you're looking at a website where the URL area is, you'll see the HTTP, that's the, no, that's the not secure version. But if it's right. HTTPS, that means it's secure. That's right. And there is sometimes even a little lock padlock mm -hmm. there that you can see and then so this this um add-on will force the the secure way of communicating with the website now just to be clear um, just to be clear what that does is it only secures the transmission of the data from your computer to their server right that's right so once the data reaches their server if you're giving them information credit card numbers whatever if they aren't storing that data in a secure manner then, you know, having it secure over the internet's good because nobody can sniff out your packets and find out what you're, you know, if you're at a wife, if you're at a uh, a coffee shop and somebody's doing packet sniffing, you know, they won't be able to rip your credit card numbers from the airwaves. Uh, so it's not a bad idea to have HTTPS, but it's it's not like a panacea. That's right, and you can get this from EFF.org. The the installation process is extremely easy. Uh, anybody can do it. Um, and also there is another thing which is a tiny bit more complicated. It's called DNS Crypt. And this basically encrypts your, your query to the DNS resolver. Hmm. Now, this is a little complicated, but basically um, the Internet doesn't understand, for example, LRN.FM, that website name. The Internet doesn't understand that. Mm -hmm. What it understands is a bunch of numbers. So the DNS resolver is a company or a service that translates LRN.FM into the numbers that so that your computer can communicate with the website. Okay, just to, and, just to be clear, DNS is the lookup system for the Internet. So right. when you type in freetalklive.com, the DNS is the system that you're talking about where your computer sends the request out saying, I want to go to freetalklive.com, and this sort of Internet phone book DNS that's comes right. back with, oh, well, that's located at 93 dot whatever dot whatever dot whatever. And so then your system then knows where to actually inqu inquire to look for the website. This all happens within a fraction of, a, of an instant. I mean, it's not a, not a long process. So or what you're saying is this DNS crypt. Crypt. This is a program and so it's a program for your computer that interfaces with an encrypted DNS service. So you'd have to like up, that, update your router with new DNS information? Uh, not necessarily. I didn't have to do it through my router. The computer itself did it. And basically, the DNS resolver that I'm using is the same one, OpenDNS. Oh, okay. Uh, but it's just encrypting my communication between my computer and OpenDNS. So OpenDNS can handle decrypting that? Or is it every DNS yes. that can handle that? Yes, they can handle uh, No, I don't think it's every DNS. Uh -huh. So but there's I think specific you, ones. 
when you install a DNS script, it gives you a list of, of DNS uh, resolvers that are supported, and you can choose which one you want. You, so this you is don't interesting. Wanna... This is very yeah. interesting because what this is going to do is it'll make it so like your internet service provider won't know even what requests you're sending out. Not only what data is not whatever the data is that's coming back, but they won't even know what you're looking for, right? Exactly. So you're encrypting the last mile. Huh. So let, let's say that you can't use a VPN because some websites won't let you log in with a VPN. Okay. Then if you have HTTPS everywhere plus DNS script, you have a pretty pretty private communication. Um, uh, the cool. other thing that, that you could add is to stop using, or not stop using, but avoid the Google search engine and start using one of the more private uh, search engines. Mm -hmm. Like uh, like start page go, start page is one definitely, and there's another one called Duck Duck Go, mm -hmm. uh, which is also uh, very. I use private. that one. Yeah, it's very good, um, and so those are the three tools that I had uh, in mind for tonight. Awesome, thanks for sharing that, Rod. I think I just and I hope I just had one more comment. Yeah, sure. Um, I knew that Ellen was extremely intelligent, but boy, is she pretty. Uh, yes, she is. No, no wonder you. you have her on the frontal uh, <laughs> angle of the webcam. Yes, you've got it all figured out, Rod. Thank you very much for the call tonight. I appreciate hearing from you. And thanks for uh, the, I think, what was, did we make that understandable? I mean, did I lose anybody of you two in that? I, technical I, discussion? I, I already kind of knew about HTTPS everywhere. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's not a program that I use, right? But I knew what it was. Even though you knew what it was, was it understandable what we were saying? I I, I think so. I don't ever want to talk over the heads of somebody who's listening, and I know that you know even just talking about the internet can can be frustrating for some people, right? Because so. you know, like I I don't know how the internets work. Or like the tubes or whatever yep. it is that winds up. Well, there's big causing, tubes and little tubes causing you know like I press <laughs> buttons and then yeah. things show up on my screen. That's pretty much what I know. Uh, you know, I know That's how what most to. Most people know though. Yeah, you know, like I I know how to you know do website coding and other stuff. So some of the more technical stuff I kind of understand if that makes any sense. Uh, but yeah, I, I think it was very good information. Uh, the other one, what was DNS Crypt, was one that I had never heard of. So yeah, that was new for me. I, I, I think, made a note on that one. Yeah, I, I think that there are ways that you know, even with a VPN, you should do some of these extra things to try to you know, like make yourself even more secure. All right, we'll come back with more. Your thoughts are welcome. And if you've got any recommendations for internet security apps, feel free to share them with us here. 855-450-FREEZE, the toll-free number. It's brought to you by ProXPN, 855-450-3733. It's Free Talk Live. At the Home Depot, buy one or more pallets of GAF Royal Sovereign three-tab shingles and save up to 20%. Let's raise the roof, but lower the cost with bulk pricing on GAF, America's number one shingle, featuring advanced protection technology. This is worth shouting from the rooftops. Let's do this. Up to 20% off one or more pallets of select GAF shingles. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. Valid through September 17th, U.S. only. See store for details. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. The Genesis Communications Network is one of America's premier broadcasters of captivating talk radio. We thank you for listening. Now, now, just imagine, there are thousands of people who are just as passionate about radio as you are. But what you may not realize is how easy and affordable it is to advertise with us. Radio commercials for your business could be heard on hundreds of radio stations across the U.S. every day. 
We can help you by creating an effective radio advertising campaign for your company. From script writing to producing your commercial, just like the one you're listening to right now. No other network provides the level of customer service we do. When it comes to radio advertising, we are your one-stop shop. And no matter how big or small your business is, we can help. Email us at advertise at GCNlive.com. And an experienced advertising executive will help you take the first step towards driving more customers to your business or website. Advertise at GCNlive.com. Easy, affordable, effective. Do you know the difference between erudite and pedantic? If you do, you're probably pedantic. But seriously, a surprising number of erudite people mispronounce erudite, which has three syllables, not four. Say erudite, not erudite. Because you are judged by how you speak, you want to avoid common misstatements, especially if you're a job seeker. For instance, do you know the difference between imply and infer? Only a speaker can imply. Only a listener can infer. And when you say you'll be out of pocket, do you mean out of touch? Out of pocket means you're on your own dime, not yet reimbursed. And if anyone ever asks... Why do you always answer a question with a question? You should reply, do I do that? Just kidding. From survivalspeech.com, I'm Holland Cook. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. If there was a place that liberty-minded people had been elected to political positions and were rolling back government, would you move there? If freedom lovers had secured a 20% voting block and can veto most bad bills, would you move? Well, the time has come to sign the pledge at freestateproject.org. These things have happened in New Hampshire, and you can join us and help. freestateproject.org. Sign up now at freestateproject.org. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. We'll take your calls about whatever you want to discuss here. We still haven't gotten to the statistics, Daryl. You have some some polling results that are disturbing regarding Americans and how quickly they forget. Yes. Uh, specifically in this case, the Edward Snowden revelations and the invasiveness of the U.S. federal government and the NSA, etc. We'll get into that. Toll-free number here, 855-453-FREE. Also, please join us online over at freetalklive.com and enjoy the features that we have waiting for you on the site. Uh, we give them away, and you can enjoy them on us. But if you like the show and you like what we're doing here with Free Talk Live, then please become a Free Talk Live amplifier at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. You can do it for five bucks a month. We'll take that money in and invest it into the show, getting on more radio stations around the country. Got over 160 today. Uh, we'll get on more radio stations. We'll get on more internet connections, more into more ears. We'll get into more people's minds with the ideas of freedom. And if that's valuable to you, if it's worth five bucks a month, then come on, sign up at amp.freetalklive.com and you get perks. You get access to the Amp Only call-in lines, the Amp Only podcast, the Amp Only uh, Facebook group, and more. Go to amp.freetalklive.com. So we were talking about some uh, useful apps. We've uh, discussed Text Secure, which is a texting app that sends encrypted text over the cell phone network. So you don't have to have a uh, data connection for for Tech Secure to work, which is really cool. I love Tech Secure. Uh, there's also a couple of other apps that are pretty useful. There's uh, Red Phone. That's the one that Commissioner Gordon uses to call Batman. <laughs> yeah, it's sort of like that. Uh, I don't know if they had encryption there, but I imagine they could have. It's fantasy. Um, now you have you have encryption in reality. And from what I understand, Red Phone is the same company by that makes Tech Secure. 
and Red Phone. These are both free apps. You can just download them for, I think, both iPhone and Android. I have an Android, so iPhone users, you'll have to correct me if I'm wrong on this. Uh, but you download the app, you install it, and then anybody else who has Red Phone, you can make an encrypted call to them. Now, you do have to have internet service. You have to have data service to make an encrypted call. But it's there, and from what I understand, it works. So, so if you were to have, say, a, a limited plan where you had something like, you know, unlimited call and text, but only two gigabytes of data per month, then you wouldn't be able to make these encrypted calls if you ran out of data. If you of ran data. out of data, um, well, a lot of plans will throttle you. They will uh, th slow you down. And I don't know to what speed they slow you down to. So, for instance, if you're on four, if you're on a 4G network or even a 3G network, your speeds are probably one megabit per second to you know 10 megabits per second, and that's pretty fast. So, uh, if they if they throttle you down from there, you don't need much more than 64 kilobits a second to send voice information somewhere. So, I can't tell you for sure, Ellen, whether or not. The Red Phone app will work if you've maxed out your gigabytes. That would be an interesting question uh, for someone to check out. But it doesn't matter if you're on a Wi-Fi connection, right? Like if you're on a Wi-Fi data, then there's no limits there, etc. Right. So the app's there. It's useful. It's another one for you to check out when you get a chance. Uh, let's continue here. We've got Liberty Phoenix on the line with us via Skype. Phoenix, you're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Liberty hey Phoenix. Um I was just sitting here thinking, you know, I kind of wish and I can't wait for there to be a day where it's acceptable for there to be a no homo landia, like whatever they would want to term it, uh, <laughs> a land where no gay people are allowed. Uh, and okay. Don't construe me to think that um, I'm against homosexuality. I was raised by a gay man. Are you no just saying that then because you want all the homophobes to go to the same place? Well, I believe that in in a time where we're all willing to respect each other's boundaries and not use violence against one, one another. Um, if there was a, uh, a group of people that wanted to get together and form that type of community, as long as they didn't use force, fraud, or coercion against anyone, they could live there and, and be by themselves and trade with people that are willing to trade with people like that and leave everyone else alone. You so, know, that's an interesting possibility. Like, not that I would want to live in this homophobe society, but if it could peacefully exist on its own, secluded somewhere, nobody was trying to invade it and overthrow it, that would be a real stepping stone for society. Who would cut their hair? <laughs> <laughs> are are you saying that cuts. I'm sure there's Straight very homo heterosexual men who are hair? good. No, there's plenty of heterosexual men, I'm sure, that are very good at being stylists. Sure, there. Hold on, hold but on. They just give buzz I, cuts. I, Ian is, yeah. Ian's <laughs> presuming that they would not have electricity and you know clippers. So what you're saying is you'd only be able to get a buzz cut in the homophobe land. <laughs> no, that's or, what you're or saying. Or a bowl. <laughs> or what? A bowl, a bowl cut. cut. Okay, yeah, that's a buzz easy cut. One. Bowl cut. Page boy. <laughs> Put the bowl on your head and cut around it, right? But, yeah. So it would, would basically it. be bigot stand. We want. Yeah. We want freedom for everyone not just ourselves and just like in the case with uh where people where the people didn't want to make the cake for the gay couple that's yeah. well within their rights that's their business they shouldn't have to be forced to do anything i agree right. if they and want to have that type of land that's their business it's great as long as they're not hurting anyone else yeah. everyone should have i'd like to see to that happen I, I in fact i'd like to see it happen with homophobes and racists and other bigots, you know, yeah, let, not let's that, move yeah, them all together. Not stand. that you want to see these people exist just because, you know, they're hateful and uh, they're, you know, they basically dislike this general group of people based on little to no reasoning. Yeah, I'd, but it, it's just, it would be nice if, you know, we could all respect each other's boundaries well, enough the ideal to would let be that, that they'd, exist. They'd open their mind and not have to be a homophobe anymore and, you know, try to actually be a human being towards others and understand that we're all just people and everybody's got different preferences and as long as you aren't hurting somebody else, then who cares? But yeah, if they're not going to change their mind and open, you know, open up to those possibilities, then I would certainly love to see them all move to one particular place <laughs> where I don't have to ever encounter them. I think that'd be fantastic. Uh, are you saying they should move to Somalia? I didn't say that. They can <laughs> Madagascar. Move to, as long as it's not Keene, New Hampshire, I'll be all right with it. What well, about the rest guys. of the U.S.? Oh, thanks, uh, Phoenix. I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, Liberty from Phoenix. You. 
Well, yeah, that's just it. I mean, I don't think a lot of people would be really welcoming towards the idea of a bunch of bigots or homophobes moving into their community, but they'd probably Unless be... Unless they're all homophobes and bigots. Well, therefore, looking at maybe some towns in the Bible Belt might be a good starting point. Remember, we did the story several months ago about the Bigot Town Project. That's right. That was in North Dakota. North Dakota. What was it, like a town of six or something like that? Uh, I think it was like 15, and the one <laughs> black guy in town is also a city councilor. Yeah, and then some crazy racist a-hole moved in there, and he's been trying to recruit other white supremacist types to join him, right? Yes. I forget what it was called, though. I don't remember the name of I don't know. Though. It's not called the Bigot Town Project, no. but I'm sure if you Google... But how tense would that be in the city hall? Like, there's just the one black guy, and everyone else is white, and they're cle- like, clearly, if you're a bigot in that situation, the only one person that you are going to be verbally assaulting is... That one African-American gentleman. Well, didn't it turn out that this guy was like a felon and he couldn't vote anyway or something like that? The guy that started the Bigot Town yeah. Project? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he wants other people to come and help save him from uh, from the darkies. Yeah. Or whatever. The the one in town. Yeah. <laughs> 855 450 free but yeah please uh you know get all the haters you know the, the evil people together and have them all hang out together i think that'd be fine so i i think get them the, out of my life the the point that liberty phoenix was trying to make and we're kind of joking around about is that societies should be made up of voluntary interaction mm-hmm. so you know in a libertarian society, there could be a group of people that are voluntarily communist. Right. But in a communist society, there could not be a group of people that are voluntary libertarians. Well, the thing is that, uh, you know, libertarians and uh, voluntarists and anarchists all like to talk about this ideal society where everybody's going to live rationally by the non-aggression mm. principle and, you know, be productive and prosperous. But there's stepping stones to that. Like, before we can get to that point where everybody makes sense, uh, you know, we all have to learn to live with each other. Like, even if we dislike each other, at least we have to, you know, understand that every person has basic freedoms. And as long as we're just focusing on our own interests, then we can stay away from that. So if there's, you know, a group of people that particularly dislike another group of people, they can be like, well, I don't like that, but I'll just go over there so I don't have to see it. That's just it. The uh, One of the keys to achieving liberty, if we ever get to do it, uh, will be to allow other people the freedom that you want for yourself. So if you're like me and you want freedom, you know, on all issues, then you have to allow everybody else to have freedom on all issues as well. Now, that doesn't mean the freedom to punch you or the freedom to harm you or destroy property. You have to respect the rights of the others to their property, and their, of course, body is the most what important if, property. What about your right to dangle babies off of balconies? <laughs> wow, a Michael Jackson reference. <laughs> all right. <laughs> uh, we can talk about that coming up here in moments. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Take control of the airwaves here. Bring up whatever happens to be on your mind. Dangling babies. And also the polling numbers that we haven't gotten to yet uh, that Daryl has to share with us. We'll get to those. Plus, I want to talk about OuterNet. And we haven't gotten a chance to broach the subject. It's interesting technology coming up. Oh, fall. A time for cooler temperatures. And hot deals from America's Best Value Inn. Save 15% when you book a room online at americasbestvalueinn.com and stay now through October 23rd. Plus, you'll enjoy free continental breakfast, internet, and instant rewards through our Value Club at most of our 1,000 hotels in North America. Fall into savings this season at America's Best Value Inn. Gabino lives in Palcapata, Peru. He buys old appliances like irons, radios, and TV sets, fixes them up, and resells them. He saw an opportunity to expand his business and needed a loan to buy more appliances. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan, and the expansion was a success. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time, get a free pound to try out the subscription, cancel anytime, coffee.freetalklive.com. 
This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Boost Kit Essentials Nutritionally Complete Drink. Providing your picky eater with essential nutrition and great taste in one drink. Visit us at kitessentials.com. To make sure your kids eat healthy, follow the five-a-day plan. Serve three servings of vegetables and two servings of fruit daily. Remember, a serving could just mean a piece of fruit or a half cup of veggies. If your kids are picky eaters, ask a nutritionist about other sources. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Friday, September 12th, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,237, silver opened at $18.55, and Bitcoin is trading around $472.50. Today's Bitcoin price brought to you by ExpressCoin, the fastest and most reliable way to buy Bitcoin. Buy Bitcoin today at ExpressCoin.com. And support for Liberty Beat comes from the Michael Cargill for Austin City Council District 1 campaign. Vote Michael Cargill to get the cars moving. Learn more or sign up to volunteer at CargillForTexas.com. Political advertisement paid for by the Michael Cargill for Austin City Council District 1 campaign. In the news, U.S. troops might, in extreme circumstances, be committed to ground operations in Iraq. Those words Wednesday from U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry contradict promises made by President Obama that there will be no boots on the ground in the fight against the Islamic State. The Miami Herald reports that Kerry made the statement during a news conference that followed a meeting with Iraqi officials. Kerry said those officials have not requested or shown any desire for U.S. intervention to assist against the Islamic State. Gun Owners of America is the latest and largest organization to publicly support Schaefer Cox, the American political prisoner who's locked in a cage for allegedly conspiring to overthrow the government. Now, they've designed a flyer about Schaefer to be handed out at gun shows. You can download a copy by visiting freeshafercox.com. Included in the flyer is a quote from Schaefer himself, written from his jail cell in Marion, Illinois. He writes, in part, our self-ownership, self-determination, and self-esteem rest on three essential legs. We must be able to think for ourselves, provide for ourselves, and defend ourselves. In Houston this week, a city employee was suspended for laying down on an American flag while working on a lawnmower. According to a report from Fox 13 in Houston, not only was he suspended from work, but the city's mayor is now demanding a public apology, as well as asking him to attend a flag retiring ceremony. Although the employee's actions were not illegal, it's causing an uproar, and he has yet to apologize. See a photo and tell the Liberty Beat what you think about it by visiting thelibertybeat.com or finding us on Facebook. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Cabo Bob's, Southwestern-style burritos, now with two locations in Austin. 500 East Ben White Boulevard and 2828 Rio Grande Boulevard. Find them online, CaboBobs.com. And support comes from Sovereign Living, a podcast, blog, and reality show about what it takes to live a voluntary and natural life. Check out the blog at SovereignLiving.com and watch episode one of the soon-to-be-released reality show at SovereignLiving.tv. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, September 12, 2014. Check out the website at TheLibertyBeat.com and like us on Facebook, at Facebook.com, The Liberty Beat. Senator Ted Cruz has met with opposition in his defense of Israel. ABC News reports it happened this week during a dinner Cruz attended held by the In Defense of Christians organization. Cruz ultimately walked out, telling the crowd that booed him that, quote, if you will not stand with Israel, if you will not stand with the Jews, then I will not stand with you. The vocal opposition apparently began when Cruz told the crowd, today Christians have no greater friend than the Jewish state. The Medina Farm in Wharton, Texas, will be hosting a hands-on workshop about food. The Farm Food Family Weekend will include three food-centric events. Friday, November 14th, will feature a farm-to-table dinner with an exclusive local menu created and prepared by Chef Nancy Foster. The next event is an organic cooking class titled How to Stretch a Chicken Five Ways. The event is Saturday, November 15th, also led by Chef Nancy. 
And the third and final event for the weekend is the Fundamentals of Farming Seminar that will take place Saturday, November 15th. Seating is limited for all three events. Tickets are expected to sell out, so get them early. Visit the MedinaFarm.com for more information and ticket pricing info. Dr. Paul Conant, toxicologist and founder of the Fluoride Action Network, was in San Marcos yesterday for a lunch meeting with city council members and city staff and for a happy hour with community activists. Present at the meeting was Mayor Daniel Guerrero, Councilwoman Lisa Pruitt, and Councilman Wayne Bekak. John Bush, founder of the Liberty Beat and San Marcos resident, was also in attendance. He said the council members seemed genuinely interested and asked some great questions. The visit came as momentum for a city petition drive to put the question of fluoridation to a vote is gaining steam. Join us next week for an in-depth report on the council members' feedback and Dr. Conant's wisdom and advice during the meeting. Today's edition of the Liberty Beat is brought to you by Brave New Books, your source for all things Bitcoin, now hosting a Bitcoin ATM, located in Austin, Texas, 1904 Guadalupe Street, or online at bravenewbookstore.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, September 12, 2014. I'm Brian Hagen reporting. Friends of local man Carl Brewster told reporters this week they are all absolutely at a loss as to how he is not completely depressed. I've known Carl for years now, and he really is a great guy, you know, super nice. But honestly, I don't know how he doesn't go home and cry himself to sleep every night. I mean, walks dogs for a living and no one will ever date him. I really don't get it. Saying that they were baffled at how their close friend managed to remain even moderately happy day in and day out given his life circumstances, sources confirmed they were regularly confronted with Carl's perplexingly gregarious and affable demeanor. I mean, Carl's life really, really sucks, but somehow he manages to wave good morning to me every time I see him, and he always has this big smile on his face. Yeah, maybe he's on some kind of medication. Things have always been really awful for Carl, but he's never really been depressed. I mean, I make three times as much money as him, and I'm totally miserable. Honestly, we all thought he would have killed himself by now, but he hasn't. This is the Onion News Network. It's Free Talk Live. We're here to take your calls about whatever you want to discuss. Just dial in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. We've been talking on and off throughout the show about security, uh, but there's also been some interesting calls uh, from you, and you may also dial in about whatever's on your mind. That is the point of Free Talk Live. The number here, 855-450-FREE. It's toll-free and brought to you by ProXPN. That's 855-450-3733. With you tonight in studio, it is Ian with you. Alan. And Daryl. And uh, also, what started the whole conversation off earlier was a discussion about Yahoo, which it was just revealed yesterday by Yahoo that for the last several years, or since 2007, 2008, they've been in a court battle uh, with the federal government. That battle was decided, I think, in 08 or 09, and they've had to have been kept uh, keeping quiet about it since then. Because they've been under court order by the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court or whatever they call themselves. They're, they have these national security letters they've been sending out for many years that will basically tell you that once you've received this letter, you cannot talk to anyone about receiving the letter. Except for maybe your attorney. And that's it. Maybe the attorney. Maybe. Uh, so Would they tell if you couldn't? What's that? Would they tell you if you couldn't talk to your attorney about it? They would tell you after you talked to your attorney and they found out that you talked to your attorney, and then they would keep you in jail longer. But the attorney is bound by silence as well, though. Odds are good you would be all right talking to your attorney, but I'm not giving legal advice. I don't know what the, what the legal status of that move would be. But people are pretty scared when they get these national security letters, and they have to keep quiet about it. So Yahoo, for years, looked bad, apparently, according to the article over at the Washington uh, Post or Times, one of the other two, I'll find out here, Washington Post. According to the Washington Post, uh, Yahoo was looking bad for cooperating with the NSA, when in point of fact, they were trying not to. They really were, you know, they were suing and there was court battles and Ultimately, they lost, unfortunately, but there's a little bit more to that case that we can talk about here. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Let's go to Gary, however. Uh, oh, we have to talk about dangling babies, too. Uh, <laughs> Gary, <laughs> listening in New York City online, you're on Free Talk Live. Hi, Gary. Hello. Uh, um, I was listening to one of your uh, shows. Uh, yeah, we got you. Go ahead. 
Uh, I was listening to uh, one of your shows about four, five years ago, and I'm not sure if the topic of the show was homeschooling or not, but there was a parent or a couple of parents that called in uh, talking about how great uh, homeschooling was for children and uh, how intelligent, how much more intelligent their children were compared to children that were schooled on, in public schools. And I've uh, just taken out my 10th grader. Actually, she decided to come out of public school uh, and learn at home. And so I just was wondering if uh, this choice catalog, because I wanted to look up the curriculum that they use for their children. You're asking if Free Talk Live is cataloged? If, or maybe you remember the curriculum that they were talking about that they used Dude, for the I show. I barely remember what happened yesterday on the show, let alone what happened four or five years ago. But all of the archives are online. All of the for archives free. are online. I don't know how you would search through and find, you know, details like that. We don't have like minute by minute rundowns right, but of what happened. Y- you do have descriptions of all of the shows. True. So if somebody did a search where they put free talk live in quotes. Yeah. And then they capitalize the word and and put homeschool in quotes. Yeah, you might find then something. Then they would find a lot of Free Talk Live episodes that talked about homeschool. You might, yeah. And maybe one of those episodes would be the one. And I don't know. You might may or may not be able to find that. But what you're just looking for resources. Is that right? Homeschooling resources? Uh, yes and no. But I, yes, you could say yes. I guess I'm confused about what you're looking for. You were wondering what program they were using or something, right? Yeah, like some... well, yeah because they were, they were speaking so highly of what their children Maybe it was been Khan Academy? Out. Would it have been Khan Academy four or five years ago? Uh, Possibly. Okay. Khan Academy's been out, but Khan Academy is not necessarily a curriculum. Right, 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 right. Well, I have no idea, but what I'd recommend that you do is contact uh, contact some homeschooling groups. There's plenty of resources out there for homeschooling parents, and a lot of these questions are, I'm sure, easily answerable by people who actually have children who've homeschooled. Of the three hosts in the the show tonight, uh, you do have a son, Daryl, I think, but uh, he's not with you at the moment. Right. Uh, I I would suggest contacting Brett Vinat, former co-host. Yeah. Who runs the School Sucks Project? That's a good idea. SchoolSucksProject.com, I believe, is his website. Yes. So I hope that helps you, Gary. Anything else? Uh, yeah, what, what's, that, what's that way I can search your show for past shows? You were just talking about Google search, right? Uh, I could do a Google search or just go to SoundCloud. That's where all the the archives are, or SoundCloud. You can, or you can try the search bar at freetalklive.com. There's a search That'll bar at the top too. right. So see how that works out for you. And thank you for the call tonight. I appreciate hearing from you. Personally, I don't really much care for the idea of homeschooling. I don't like the idea of having to try to figure out what my kids would want to learn. I'd rather they figure it out for themselves. I like the idea of unschooling where the child directs their own learning on their own volition. I think that's a really exciting idea. Well, right, so- but if you're a parent, wouldn't you want to find what your child enjoys learning and then you know, do things to purposely encourage that? You could, but I that, think... That, that's called directed learning, to where you figure out what the child is interested in, and then you help them and direct them in ways to where they can learn the thing that they're wanting to know. I think the problem with that approach is that, inevitably, Ellen, what you'll see is that as much as they might try not to, the parent's inevitably going to put their own biases and interests in there. You know, Kind of like the classic example of the parent that wants their kid to be a piano player or they want their kid to be a, uh, you know, whatever it was that they were when they you right, know, were growing but, up. but... You could make the argument that you would only do that if you w- weren't really uh, interested in your child's you know, best interests. Well, the parent who was arguing for the, their child to fulfill their own dreams uh, would, I'm sure, make the argument that it's in their best interest. That- right, but that parent would not in any way claim to be unschooling their child. I didn't say that they would be claiming that. Ellen was talking about directing learning. Right. And that's not unschooling. That's supporting I, I, it. I, I'm just talking about supporting it, like doing things that purposely encourage it. You know, like buying supplies ch- or taking trips okay, or, but, you know, things like that. Okay, I see what you're saying. So, so where- Mark, Mark often talks about how his son gets into Legos mm-hmm. and certain other things. And so they'll go buy a Lego set. I see. That's not Mark saying, you're going to be into Legos. Because I bought you Legos. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. I I get where you're coming from. What I thought Ellen was getting at would be that the parent would sort of 
try to start the child onto certain things. No, no, no. The parent figures out what the child is interested in and then helps direct them in ways to where they can learn more about that thing that they're showing an interest in. And you're saying that's not unschooling. Uh, I've heard that. You said that's not unschooling. I've heard that used in combination. So it's an unschooling with directed learning. Okay. So you don't start the day with a set curriculum yep. as you would with homeschool, but you will help you know your child go in the direction that they are trying to learn. Conrad is with us on the line here. You're on Free Talk Live. Conrad. Hello. I wanted to try out my new microphone. How does it sound? Well, you sound fine. Did you have a reason for calling besides a sound, te- a sound test? Because Skype yeah, has no. tools yeah. for that. Just saying. Excellent. Yeah, no, no, no. I wanted to see what you guys thought. I bought the uh, Audio Technica that uh, Freedom Fiends recommend, but I, I had a topic okay. as well. Good. I'm glad you do. Thank you for that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I was just wondering what you guys thought about the whole ISIS thing and wanted to get your opinion on that. Yeah, the whole ISIS thing. Okay. Anyone want to jump in on this one? It's a big, big thing. Uh, <laughs> it is a big thing. I, uh, I don't know if I know the full picture. I just know that ISIS has been... Uh, you know, the term is being thrown around now as Al Qaeda has been the past yes, 10 years. Yes, they're the new boogeyman. Yeah. Uh, ISIS being, and there, there are several different things that ISIL, the acronym ISIS. can stand for. I, I've most often heard the Iraqi or the Islamic, the Islamic State, State of Iraq and Syria. They are now calling themselves just the I, uh, Islamic State, so- calling themselves a caliphate. Barack Obama wants to bomb them. Sarah Palin says the reason they exist is because we left Iraq too soon, (laughs) but we should bomb them and then leave. Hang on, Conrad. We'll uh, come back with more here in moments. The toll-free number, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Take control here on Free Talk Live. I want to share something important that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact in helping make a difference in the world and one sip will have you buzzing to family and friends to prove just how good it is we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience all you do is cover shipping go to coffee.freetalklive.com buzzbox coffee is organic so it contains no pesticides or toxins it's shade grown so less acidity and no heartburn it's top one percent arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com Again, the Congressional Budget Office sounds the alarm, this time warns of Greek-style U.S. debt crises. You heard me right. The GAO is drawing a parallel between the U.S. economy, its debt, and the current Greek economic meltdown. With the debt-to-GDP climbing into unfamiliar territory, the growing budget deficit will rise to unsupportable levels. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. The Federal Debt and Risk of Financial Crises document the CBO has published is a must-read for every American, covering the risk of continued deficit spending coupled with an aging population and the rising interest rates spell economic disaster. It's imperative that you get a copy of this document and study it for yourself. Call me today at 800-686-2237, and I'll send you a free copy. Again, call 800-686-2237 and ask for your copy of the CBO document. Once again, you need to read this government report. Call 800-686-2237. Free Talk Live. What's the difference between a stoplight and a school bus? Um, a stoplight it is a light, and a school bus is a school bus. Full of children. Oh, and right. a, so, a, um, the light boy, doesn't have any that's, kids in it. That's, that's what you call a derelict, educated derelict. Yeah, I'm, come I, out of Harvard. I'm really not a derelict. I work for a living. You are an educated derelict. <laughs> Well, Barbara, you know what? I, I Have agree with fun. you. Play your game. No, no. no. You're a fornicator, you Mark. When Barbara. you pass that next red light, I sure hope they get you good. Now, Barbara, I hope you don't kill anybody. I'm, 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 I'm agreeing oh, with you. Oh, she hung up on you, Mark. But I agree with you, Barbara. I was telling you that I agree with you, except for the stoplight thing. 
children, Mark. There's children around at every red light. You could possibly hear it kill someone. This, this, by the way, a gentleman. If you would run a red light at 3 in the morning when there's no traffic as far as the eye can see, then you you would just as soon run over a school bus and kill right. all the kids inside. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. RATS is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. RATS was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. RATS is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download RATS free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. This would be Free Talk Live. It's a radio show, talk radio show. We'll take your calls about anything that happens to be on your mind. You dial in toll-free, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. That number brought to you by Pro XPN. And you can join us online. Just go to freetalklive.com and enjoy the features that are waiting for you there on the site. Now, do you want to reach people with the ideas of liberty? You can do it from the back of your car with LibertyStickers.com. Reach thousands of people with a bumper sticker, or in Daryl's case, several bumper stickers. You had, what, 30 on the back of your car? I had 43 on the back of my Nissan Sentra. What percentage were from LibertyStickers.com? I would say most of them. That's sweet. They've got some really smart, witty, poignant, and really, uh, bom- in some cases, bombastic, uh, liberty-oriented messages for the back of your car or your, you know, your binder or laptop, wherever it is you want to put your stickers. LibertyStickers.com. As we continue here, toll-free number tonight: eight fifty-five four fifty-three. We've been talking about privacy, sort of off and on. And uh, you can, of course, take control of the airwaves. Let's go to James. He's in West Virginia. You're on Free Talk Live, James. Uh, yes, sir. I actually have a question for you guys uh, on how to approach a situation. I'm going to sure. be a little bit ba- vague as to not oust myself. But uh, right. I work in sales, and uh, I've been at this particular company for about a year now. And uh, before before this, I you know, was in the Army, so I have this thing about pride and doing things right but uh i've kind of recently discovered that my bosses are stealing from the company and uh they're doing some what stealing from the company stealing from the company what they're doing is they're brokering these deals with our customers and they're bartering you know they're using our product for personal gain they'll you you know you can have this our product if you'll give me that item that you personally own that i really like and, you know, mm-hmm. we use a part of the deal, stays off the book. You know, having been there for just a year, not looking to start World War III or get fired, which type of company I'm realizing that I'm with, uh, I have no idea how to approach it. I, I cannot stay silent. I'm not the type of guy I'll just let the, you know, this type of thing go on around me. I believe that, you know, by staying silent, I become a part of it. Mm-hmm. But I, I'm absolutely clueless as to how to approach this because both the bosses are pretty high up. Is there anyone in the company above these two bosses? So one, me, one meaning man. like is it a uh, national or regional company to where they have, you know, like your boss and then your we, boss we has? The, the, no, we have we have one boss above them, but we're the seventh largest company in the nation of what we are. So we're pretty big. Okay. And the, these guys are just, you know, one, well, it's, one guy is one step below the head honcho, and the other is just below him. I would go to the head honcho. 
if if that's even possible. Uh, I don't well, know if you have uh, is, a way and, to and he, directly communicate with that person. I can. I can. I have the ability, and I thought about it, and, and you know, he's completely oblivious. He actually spoke in a meeting of how they, you know, these are great men that would never do anything like that. Oh, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> kind of, what yeah, if you get direct proof suspicion. and then confront them with it? Confront them or confront well, the boss? Confront them and be like, if you don't stop this, I've then I will take it them. to the boss. You what? I'm I've sorry, sir? I've confronted them. I've confronted them. How did that go? Um, it, it's been very uncomfortable since then. All right. And so you confronted I, I, uh, them. I let them know. I let them know. I let the highest of the two know. I, I did not uh, condone it. I did not feel as ethical. I don't feel it's right. He tried to justify it, put a really good sales spin on it. He's been doing it for a long time. He talked about how, you know, he, he, his father was in the business and his father's father was in the business. So it's just like he doesn't feel that it's unethical. It's just what they just do. Just the way it goes. Yeah, the I, way it, the game's the played. Yeah. And I said, you know, I, I really, I can't stand by and say nothing. So this is me saying something to you. And he's like, basically said, you know, this is just the way it is. And. Now, just to clarify something, what you're saying they're doing, is it illegal or is it just they're kind of not really following the rules of how to sell for the company? Um, I, b I believe it's illegal. I'm not 100 percent certain that I mean, they're they're saying, you know, you give I saw this really nice item in your vehicle. And if you give that to me, I will give you a better deal. And so. You know, the hmm. company loses money. They have personal right. gain and in in getting the item that they really wanted. It could be considered and embezzlement, I suppose. Yeah. I, I thought so. I, I, I would suggest – I'm not an attorney. Since, since you've already yeah. confronted them, uh, I would again suggest going to the head guy. Yeah, you have nothing to lose at this point. If he doesn't give you a satisfactory response – I would uh -huh. call every media outlet in the mm. area. Do you have proof, though? <laughs> um, I could, I could, I could probably get proof. Well, you'd want to do that before before you do right. either of Daryl's suggestions. Yes. Before going to the boss, before going to the media, right. you you'll need to have proof for sure. And yeah. uh, James, I yeah. wish wish you the best, uh, and I thank you for the call tonight. Let us know if you can. Let us know how it plays out, will you? I've called in a few times. I'll definitely touch base with you. But right, uh, I'm starting school in December or January again. So school right. for what? Uh, I'm actually going to study for speech pathology. I want to be a speech therapist. Neat. Hey, cool. James, thanks for the call tonight, man. I do appreciate hearing from you. Let's go to Greg. He's in Brooklyn. You're on Free Talk Live. Greg. Hey, guys. I'm happy to take control of the airwaves. Here you are. Go ahead. Um, Ian, I think you were um, there yesterday. I was talking about uh, wealth redistribution and safety nets, basically. Um, I just wanted to describe what a, a universal basic income is and why it's actually compatible with freedom and liberty. Um, this actually, should be interesting. Uh, Go ahead. Sure. Well, I mean, it's not surprising. So are you talking you about socialism? Or the um, fact that people, use that word. people deserve an income just for because. existing? That's right. That's what he's talking about. Right. Um, well, deserve mm. is an interesting word. But, I mean, if you look back, Milton Friedman, Friedrich Hayek uh, definitely argued in favor of such a thing. I don't care. Um, wait, are, doesn't wait, matter are to you, me. Are you advocating this idea because these great names advocated it or because you he's actually think that it's right? He's just right. name dropping. Look, that doesn't impress me. I don't care, you know, who advocated. Wait, I want to hear this argument, though. It might be a little well, no, I do interesting, want to, no, I like want, mental that's, exercise. That's, that's what I want him to do is get past the name dropping. It doesn't impress me. I want to hear the actual pitch. So sure. go ahead. Well, it's very simple. If you're going to talk about liberty, you need to talk about what actual liberty is. And actual freedom is the, uh, is the ability to have options and to choose between them and to take risks. If you're not able to take risks because your options are, let's say, to starve versus to keep working at a company or to become homeless or to keep working in your uh, career, which is being eliminated, that's not real freedom. So if I'm talking about actual freedom, uh, having a safety net enables people to actually choose between working 10 hours a day or 12 hours a day with no overtime and working four or five hours a day. Um, and re-educating themselves for some other career or spending more time with their family. Or Who provides else. the safety net? So yeah, you're just kind I'll of rehashing the point you've made over the last 
few nights, Craig. I mean, I, 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 you're going to have to keep this fresh if you want to keep calling. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we can't have you call about the same topic every no, single no, no, night. I so want, I, I want you to, to tie this in and explain practical. to me how it is that this universal paycheck that you say every human being should receive is somehow compatible with the ideas of freedom. That I want to hear from you. We'll come back with more. It's Free Talk Live. More with Greg coming up. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to MyMagicMud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin. MyMagicMud.com. This is Dan Pillard. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. If you are struggling to pay or haven't been making your student loan payments, listen carefully to this urgent alert. Have you been out of school for 10 or more years and you're still making your student loan payments? Are your student loans past due or even in default? Can't go back to school because of an old student loan problem? Fast Track Student Loans can get your student loans out of default, stop any wage garnishments, stop collection calls, and stop seizure of your tax refund. Give yourself a break. Stop the stress and get your student loan payments down to as little as $25 a month based on what you can afford to pay. One quick 10-minute call could help you solve your student loan problems. So call right now. Not available in all states. Payments may vary based on income. 800-215-6813. 800-215-6813. 800-215-6813. 800-215-6813. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the Realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers, and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at fpp.cc as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com. The monthly newspaper FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. 
We're here to take your calls when you dial in about whatever's on your mind. The toll-free number, 855-450-FREE. It's Ian here. Ellen. And Daryl. Join us online. Go to freetalklive.com and enjoy the features that are waiting there for you. They're all totally free, although there are ways you can support the show. One of them is through the Bitcoin tip jar. You go to bitcoin.freetalklive.com. And if you have some Bitcoin, you can send some to us. You can send a fraction of a Bitcoin to us as well, because you probably don't want to send a whole Bitcoin. Although, if you want to send a whole Bitcoin, I won't say no. Uh, go to bitcoin.freetalklive.com. Now, if you don't yet have Bitcoin, then you can go and get some from expresscoin.com. Expresscoin allows you to use money order, check, wire transfer, even cash deposit to turn your cash into bitcoins and you will need to have a bitcoin wallet first so go to blockchain.com hook up with a free bitcoin wallet and then go to expresscoin.com and get bitcoins or dogecoin litecoin blackcoin and even darkcoin all available and you can get them with zero cost for transferring the money normally when you transfer one uh exchange one uh, currency into another there's a fee involved in that and normally at ExpressCoin, there is a fee involved as well. It's a very low fee, 3%. But if you're buying less than $40 worth and you use code FTL, FTL like Free Talk Live, use that code, you get less than $40 worth of Bitcoin, you get that for 0%, which is amazing. So go to ExpressCoin.com, get signed up. It's pretty easy to get started, and it's now available for use in Canada. We go back to Greg. He is with us here. Uh, he's calling about his idea of what he calls unconditional basic income it's essentially it's a welfare check given to everyone this is my understanding greg and if you know correct me if i'm wrong here on what i'm saying it's a it's a sort of a subsistence welfare check cut to everybody in the whole world and that's what you want to see happen and you're now going to explain to us how that is in some way consistent with the ideas of uh freedom go ahead I apologize if, uh, there's a lot of overlap with what i said past um, I, I don't want uh, – I want to keep it fresh, absolutely. So, I, listen, basically, I'll give you a practical example that's happening today. It's an example I brought up yesterday, but I really just want to get into it. It was basically uh, one of my friends, his daughter's working at a pharmacy. She was working there five years ago. Now she has to work more hours for the same pay because she's afraid to lose, afraid to lose her job because she needs to pay her bills, her rent, stuff like that. Meanwhile, there's another person applying for that same job and that person is not being hired and is one of the people that's unemployed. And the reason that's happening is not because the employer um, would lose out by hiring two people and paying them twice less each. It's because she would be against it. She, doesn't, she can't afford to um, work less hours. And so you get this perverse situation where some people are out of work and other people are working too much. And uh, you could fix this by having a safety net because then people could take a risk and they could work less, and they could re-educate themselves. I think you're assuming a lot by saying that that's the problem. I think really what the problem is is that there's so many uh, there's so many random government programs and a lot of bureaucracy that interferes with businesses practicing freely. Uh, something like the minimum wage law, even even something like that, you know, has an effect on how many people a business will hire and how many hours they will allow them to work. Sure. And I mean, there's certainly a lot of different problems. Uh, in terms of minimum wage, there, there isn't any empirical data that shows that raising the minimum wage a little bit eliminates jobs. Um, they actually, uh, this time it actually increased jobs uh, in, in some states. Well, there's but, plenty of data that, that shows that, uh, that people who are on the poor end of the spectrum get put out of work uh, by the increase in the minimum wage. But you're straying away from what you had originally promised, Greg, and that was you were going to promise – you told us you were going to tell us how the uh, – this suppose this check that you want to have cut to everybody in the world uh, on, a, on a monthly basis is somehow compatible with the ideas of individual liberty. Right. I'm still so waiting for, for that. Example, so if someone doesn't want to work at McDonald's and they don't want to work at their dead-end job, they want to become a writer, they want to you know, create Harry Potter, or they want to create um, – what was that guy who created uh, the $19 billion company that was bought by Facebook? WhatsApp? So no clue. These guys were on welfare. Um, and the reason they were able to have more freedom is because they were on welfare. That's an example. So you haven't given me an, uh, an answer to your promise, which was how this is compatible uh, with the ideas of uh, personal freedom. 
Go so ahead. Let, let, let me ask the question in a slightly different way, yeah. Ian. How is taking money by force from one person and giving it to someone else not theft? And how is that advocation of individual liberty? Because you're violating one person's liberty by taking their money to give to someone else. And it seems like your definition of freedom is the freedom from anxiety and discomfort. Well, I think all freedom is the freedom from uh, unacceptable outcomes. What do you mean by uh, unacceptable, though? Unacceptable by whom? Well, being stolen from is unacceptable. Yeah, I'd like to hear your answer to Daryl's question, and uh, please go ahead. I'd love to answer it if I can. I love okay. Basically, I think if you always look at the end of property rights and you take property rights to trump every other type of right, uh, including the right to stay alive, for example, if you don't consider that to be a right, but uh, but the right to have your property defended is also force. You can shoot a person uh, in some state for taking your property or for you know absconding with your property. This is also force. And who says I believe in property of that of that kind? It wouldn't surprise me if you didn't believe in property. But that still didn't answer my question. What was your question? Go ahead and ask it again. How how is it promoting freedom to steal from one person to give to another? Because it's not stealing when fiat currency is (laughs) taxed. (laughs) <laughs> so what you're saying is you wouldn't be taxing people, you would just be printing the money out. Well, first of all, yes, you are printing the money out. Yeah. Okay, so your plan is to have a central bank print money and distribute printed money to everybody every single month. So you'd have inflation on a, a fairly regular kind of like what's happening now. You'd have well, it would be a lot worse to to than what's happening no, now. Yeah, he wants to do it to every individual, whether or not you care or are interested. You would receive the the check. So you'd be printing up money. You'd have a greater rate of inflation. Prices would likely continue be continually on the rise as a result of that. But what if? Here's another question for you, Greg. What if I don't want to use your money? What if I decide I'm not interested in having this inflationary money and I'd like to use Bitcoin or gold and silver or something like that? And I'm just happily, you know, happily doing business. We're running our radio show and you're out there printing a bunch of money from the central bank and giving it away to people. Some people are probably taking it, uh, although it's more and more difficult to deal with because prices are always rising. Uh, but uh, but I'm using Bitcoin. Would something happen to me? No, you can use whatever assets you want, including Bitcoin. The thing that creates demand for fiat currency is taxes in the first place. What? So wait, so well, just taxes, to be clear, yeah. so what you're saying is I could opt out of your system entirely. As long as I don't use your money, I wouldn't be subject to uh, the problems that your money's causing? Sure, if you can afford to, if you're rich. But if you're poor, you can't opt out of the system because you'll die. What are you talking about? If you're poor, you can well, have Bitcoin yeah. too. Anybody can have Bitcoin. Anybody can grow chickens in their backyard and barter the eggs. Well, then you wouldn't be poor, would you, if you had something? (laughs) Greg, thanks for the call tonight. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, What does that mean? He's saying if you have something, you wouldn't be poor? Uh, Poor is a range, right? Like in America, being poor means you've got one television instead of five televisions. Right. Right. Uh, Uh, You're poor if you make like $150 a week. Yeah, poor people have things. In fact, in America, they have more things than some uh, middle class or, uh, you know, upper middle class people in some poorer countries. But they still so, have things. Like even homeless people have like jackets. They have yeah, clothes. Right. Sometimes they have shopping carts. <laughs> then they're not really poor because they have a shopping cart. Right. Yeah. How that they dare stole you from call Walmart. yourself poor if you have things? Thing you is, should be naked and itemless. Greg has this socialist redistribution of wealth fantasy. And he doesn't want to admit that he's going to force everybody into it with the point of a gun. Because that's the only way you can make it work. And, of right. course, it doesn't work then anyway because of all kinds of crazy economic factors that he's probably not aware of, like inflation on his money supply that he's going to be constantly increasing on a monthly basis to cut checks to everyone. Free Talk Live. Wake up and smell the freedom. One of the easiest things you can do to help Liberty is to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to help keep them drone-proof. You can set up your home computer to download and share Freedom Fiends archives over BitTorrent. You can even set up scheduling so it only shares while you're asleep or at work. Put your unused computing power to work and help keep the Freedom Fiends around well into the future. Simply go to freedomfiends.com and click on the Torrent Club link and learn how to torrent and share Freedom Fiends archives. 
Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at freeross.org. That's freeross.org. Healthy elimination is essential to high energy, a cheerful mood, and prevention of disease. Some of the founders of our modern holistic health thinking state that disease begins in a toxic colon. A toxic intestinal tract is the foundation for virtually all degenerative disease. And a clean and well-moving intestinal tract is the foundation of health. I just want to say that you folks have an amazing product. I've taken whey protein products for years, and I've never noticed results I have with your product. I've suffered with thoughts of constipation most of my life. Within a few days of taking One World Way, I noticed a dramatic change. Also, in the past few years, I've experienced symptoms associated with diabetes. I feel horrible when I've had too much sugar, and I've been getting the foot pain as well. But I've noticed in the past week or so, I'm not feeling bad anymore, and the foot pain is gone. I'm just finishing up a five-pound tub I ordered and just got off the phone ordering more. I love your product. Thank you. Call 888-988-3325. That's 888-988-3325. Or visit OneWorldWay.com. That's OneWorld, W-H-E-Y.com. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on join the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Every day you make investment decisions. When you do business with and hold U.S. dollars, you make an investment in the soundness of the moral philosophy and the potential longevity of the United States hegemony. People who claim a monopoly on violence around the world. If this is the investment that you want to make, please keep listening to LRN.FM. If not, stop using their currency. Use bitcoins. Get educated. We use coins.com. You can watch the LRN studio cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, here to take your calls. In the remaining moments, if you're not on the line right now, you're probably not going to get in. Uh, But you can always get in tomorrow night because we do the show seven nights a week. So join us online at freetalklive.com and enjoy all the features that we have waiting for you on our website. And if you need focus and are feeling fatigued and trying to get that extra edge when it counts, look into modafinil from modup.net. Studies show one in five students use this cognitive enhancer offering multiple benefits, including a double-digit increase in short-term memory, fighting off fatigue, and greater focus overall so you can get things done. Businessmen around the world are talking about modafinil from modup.net and how it's making the difference in their work and giving them the critical edge that they need. They provide only the highest premium quality modafinil with the best potency so you enjoy significant results. And that's why they're number one, uh, the number one sponsor of Reddit's third-party nootropic testing product. 
or project rather. Remember, Free Talk Live is an international radio show and modup.net ships worldwide. It is therefore your responsibility to know if local prescription requirements and laws apply. Modup.net will give you a sweet discount if you pay with Bitcoin, 33% off. And to make the deal even better, use code FTL and you'll get 10 free tablets with your order. Again, that's code FTL, like Free Talk Live. So check it out for yourself, and you'll find that ModUp.net has world-class service at a great price. That's ModUp, M-O-D-U-P, dot net, and use code FTL for the extra tablets. Let's go to your phone calls and thoughts. We've got Talbot on the line listening in North Carolina. Talbot, you're on Free Talk Live. Yes, sir. Can you all hear me? Yes, go ahead with your thoughts. Just want to make the point, uh, what the last gentleman said was, was correct. I don't agree with him. But the premise that, you know, if only you had everyone else's money to live off of, you would be totally free to make your decisions, just like you're totally free to kick and punch in the air. But all of our rights end where the next person's right begins. Mm. So that would be the ultimate liberty. But to have true liberty, you have to respect everyone else's economic freedoms. So just like I can go punch, shoot, do whatever I want. I'm not allowed to do that if it hurts someone else or takes away from their freedom and liberty. And I think, you Wait, know, the, you just the point said that he made— you're not allowed to punch somebody unless it hurts them or if no, it no, hurts no, them. No, 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 or hurts them. Like, you can punch in the air all you want. You can do all these things. You can make those choices, but you're not allowed to make those choices once your own personal—or, uh, excuse me, once your own personal liberty violates someone else's. I'm with you. Right, that makes if a that lot makes more sense, sense than know. the last caller. Much more sense. <laughs> I mean, just yeah. I mean, his point is is it's true. Yeah, if only we had everyone else's money, we'd all be truly free, except for every single person you're taking the money from. Yeah, and right. I think Ellen was right was right on when she pointed out that he was really saying that people should be free from worry. That that was the kind of freedom that uh, that he was seeking, and. There's no world in which that's possible. Even the world in which he's talking about, which would be some sort of socialist utopia in his mind, uh, still would not be a world free from worry. Right, because let, let's just say, for example, that everybody gets $1,000 a month mm-hmm. at the beginning of the month because that's what our you know computer came up with. Some arbitrary bureaucrats with, came up with. Uh, that, yeah. You know, like, you need a minimum of X to live for a month. And then, well... By golly, I want to go see this movie, and I want to do this, but if I do that, then I might not have money for this other thing, and then mm. I'm worrying about whether or not I have money to go do fun things. So th- then should we calculate, you know, like, okay, everybody gets fun money to where they can go do fun things. So, all right, everybody gets a million dollars a year. <laughs> <laughs> on, on January 1st, everybody gets a million dollars a year. Now, the thing we didn't get into in detail with Greg earlier, we just sort of touched on, is that it would be inflationary, meaning that if everybody's getting this money and that the government's just printing it out constantly, the prices are likely going to rise all over the place because right. you're, the constant the money supply is increasing. The good the number of goods in the market are not is not increasing at the same clip, and so therefore the prices will right. likely rise. But no, nobody's working That's in the worrisome. factories, Ian. Nobody's working in the factories because they're all off, you know, doing other things and enjoying life mm. because they don't have to worry well, about going point. to work. I, you know, it's a good point that you sh- I, I wish you would have brought that one up, but we can't keep Greg on for the entire show. I'm sure he'll call again. Uh, but you know, that, that would be a good point because I wonder if he's one of those uh, Venus Project guys where he believes that, like, all supercomputer work, will do everything well, for the, us. There will be robots or whatever that yeah. will do all of the, the actual work. Talbot, any other thoughts that uh, you want to share? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Just one last thing. Talking about the inflationary impact, I know that generally gas prices and food prices aren't included in inflation. You look at the quantitative easing we've been doing the past few years, programs like Cash for Clunkers, four years of unemployment. And right now, if you're a regular middle class, even upper middle class person, You're feeling the pinch every time you go to the gas station, every time you buy groceries. And then our president, you see him actually advocating exactly what Greg did. Well, because we gave so many people unemployment benefits for four years, because we were so generous to them, when in actuality, it's just the biggest crock of crap you could have as an excuse for being lazy. Just let, well, I just want everyone else to pay for me so I can have my true freedom. It's just selfish. And it's 
to me, it's, it's quite frankly un-American. It's unpatriotic, and I wish that we had more people who just, you know, had the backbone to get up and work rather than accepting that government check. That's that what we were talking about last night. He called about the same idea. And thank you, Talbot. I'm going to let you go. I appreciate your call tonight, though. Yeah. Uh, we, we were talking with him about the same idea last night, and my point was, if I don't have to work, why the hell was why the hell should I work? I mean, what's the incentive for me to work? Oh, well, he said you'll make more money if you work in his society. You'll make more money. So if you don't work, you get the minimum subsistence check. If you do work, you'll make more above that. And so ultimately, what's going to happen is if everybody gets the same check every month, it'll be worthless. The check right. will will ultimately become nothing. It will buy you nothing. A thousand dollars a month will be like a penny over time. Right. So let's continue. We've got John. He's listening in Charleston, West Virginia to WVTS. Hello, John. Hey, man. Uh, I like to tell Greg. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You're in a bad I'm, cell. You're you're in a bad cell. John, are you with us? I tell you what, I'm going to put you on hold here. We're going to put John on hold. Hopefully he'll get into a better uh, cell phone signal, and then we'll try to bring him in here in a little bit. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Okay, so we didn't talk about dangling babies, so let's get to that. Ellen, you said something <laughs> about the freedom to dangle a baby. Yes, I. it was a Michael Jackson reference, as you pointed out. It was more of a, seemed like a joke, but kind of serious. What were you getting well, at Well, it was both joking and serious. Um, I, I just said it as a joke mostly because it was unexpected. You know, you don't expect people to bring up dangling babies. No. But, um, no, I was kind of serious when I said that because we were talking about personal freedoms and uh, the rights that people have to be bigots and racists and, and uh, generally hate on other people. And, you know, they have the right to feel that way as long as they're not impeding on anyone else. But could you also make the argument that doing something like endangering, what what people would consider endangerment, you know, like drunk driving mm -hmm. or dangling babies, is that really a threat to that person? Is is that a real threat? Is that violence? Is that something not to be I'd concerned about? I'd say there's an argument to say that that's a threat. That's an imminent threat to some, to harm someone who can't do anything about it. Right, and not just to cause harm, but to cause unjust harm. Okay, but what if, what if, let's say this baby theoretically was a a twenty five year old midget, and they were fully capable of reasoning and deciding for themselves, but they were picked up by this person who's much larger than them. Are like they consenting to this? Well, let's just assume that it this surprises them. And all of a sudden, they're being dangled over a cliff or a balcony. Whoa! Uh, <laughs> okay, but no, and I, I think so, that wait, my, I think my question is difference? legitimate. Does it make a difference if they're consenting or not? Yes. Because in in one scenario, their life is being imminently threatened, and in the other... They're consenting to the life being threatened. There's people who consent to dangerous activities all the time, jumping right. out of airplanes. That, that's why I... You know, as much as I can, use the uh, adjective of unjust harm. Mm. You are not allowed to cause unjust harm because people that go out and do mixed martial arts fighting, fighting sure. you know, they know they could wind up having broken bones, Odds are good concussions. They, they could die in that ring. Good point. But they're consenting to it. They know full well what the outcome Consent is. Consent is what makes the difference. Let's try John one more time here. John, if you uh, if you're in a better better cell, you'll get the last word here on the show. Go ahead. And he's not in a better cell. I tried. I did my best, John. Call us back tomorrow night. Uh, we've got shows seven nights a week here on Free Talk Live. We're live from 7 to 10 at night Eastern time. So if you're not listening to us live in your local talk station, you can always still call us during our live hours. Real quick, let me yes. hit these uh, Pew numbers oh, fast, real quick. Fast, fast, fast. Uh, for the first time in over a decade, people are once again thinking that the government has not gone far enough in violating their rights to stop terrorism. They want more violations of their rights? Yep. How quickly they have forgotten what they thought last year. Yeah, I'd love to hear more about that. I imagine you might be talking about it on Peace, Love, Liberty Radio on Sunday. Yes. We'll see you tomorrow at freetalklive.com. Are you looking for an excuse to come check out New Hampshire this fall? You're invited to Keenvention. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keene, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move.
Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit Keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, Rich Paul is our first announced keynote speaker, and more are being announced now at Keenvention.info. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keen for Keenvention this October 31st through November 2nd. You can pre-order your tickets now for just $60 at Keenvention.info, or you can pay with Bitcoin. Visit Keenvention.info for more information and to lock in your tickets at the pre-order $60 price for the whole weekend. Visit Keenvention.info for more, or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's Keenvention.info. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. The Corey Moore Show is coming up next, live after the news, here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Kane in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Friday, September 12th, 2014. Silver is trading at $18.62 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,237 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $476. Antiwar.com reports the Russian brokered ceasefire in East Ukraine is holding, much to the chagrin of Western nations looking to use the ongoing war as an excuse to spark a new Cold War. Not to worry, though, they're going to keep trying. President Obama announced a new round of sanctions against Russia's financial and energy sector yesterday aimed at punishing them for Russia's illegal actions in Ukraine. President Obama blamed Russia for the war, and the administration hasn't seemed too happy with peace either. The European Union, which had announced sanctions earlier in the week but delayed them because of the ceasefire, announced they're going to implement them today whether the ceasefire collapses or not. President Obama spoke of the potential for the sanctions to be rolled back if Russia complies with the very non-specific Western demands, but the implementation of new sanctions after Russia effectively took the helm to end the Ukrainian war they've been harping about suggests that whatever happens in the weeks and months to come, the West will find excuses to continue the sanctions war. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Coinbase. Coinbase is a simple and secure online Bitcoin wallet for sending, receiving, and storing Bitcoin. Get started at coinbase.fppradio.com. That's coinbase.fppradio.com. UPI reports Yahoo on Thursday made public a secret legal battle with the federal government over requests for user information. The battle became so heated the government threatened the company with fines of $250,000 per day if they did not give them what they wanted. Yahoo made the threat public after a special federal court unsealed 1,500 pages of legal documents. Those legal documents were over the scope of National Security Agency surveillance programs. The documents bring new light on tensions between 